And greetings, everybody. <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. Greetings from a delightfully oven-baked South Florida. Speaking of uh, so far so hot. Uh, yeah, it's 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 super hot down here. Uh, I opened the window earlier and it was like an oven. <laughs> I'm just bringing up the good old days of that option. So it's funny. Uh, I didn't actually look into that. So when uh, Falcom redid East 1 and 2 as Chronicles, you actually do have that option. And they did that before this game. So I think we should totally look and see if that option is in there because it might be and Seraph may have just missed it. But in any event, welcome everybody. We are playing the remake of East 4, Memories of Salsetta. And uh, actually, while we're doing that, let's just go with this too. And so, uh, yeah, this was the original opening of that. So this is just perfect. Uh, I figured for the last time we're going to be playing this, hopefully this is the last stream of this game when we beat it. Uh, so I figured I'd introduce a little bit of the original OST uh, with that. That's a little on the loud side. Let's let's dial that down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's that's better. <laughs> I remember most of them didn't even have titles, just a number. Yeah, Forest Caves. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, right. For most, that's true. Um, like a lot of my, so I came up with titles. So for a lot of the Turbo Graphics games, and of course I never actually had East 4 because it was just never released here. Um, but for a lot of my Turbo Graphics CD games, what I would do, and I guess you weren't supposed to do this. Uh, apparently you could damage either the disc or the, or I guess you could damage the disc doing this. I, I was fortunate I never actually damaged it. But uh, I've heard of people doing this to PlayStation games. But I took the actual CD-ROMs of the games put them in my stereo and I just, you know, advanced past the data tracks and I would just listen to the OSTs because it was all burned onto the disc. So you had the data portion, which was actually played the game. And then when it wanted to play a song, it would be playing the actual track as a traditional CD player while you were playing the game. And that's kind of how it worked. So you could stick it in a stereo and play all of the music from the game. And so I did that for, for a lot of these. Uh, so then once I got a, um, once we got to the point of ripping CDs as MP3s and everything else, I did that and I just ended up naming them because they didn't have names. It was just track uh, three through 52 or whatever. Um, it's actually funny, you know, on the same topic. Let me see. Let me go to my original game rip here. Because uh, these, yeah. So a lot of these, like, for example. Um, yep, here we go. So, for example, this is this is a track. I know we're getting a little off track here, but um, but this is the I'm playing right now. The actual. Uh, ripped track I took from the game itself. Uh, but what was also interesting is a lot of these dialogues where they talk smack to you were also on there. I know you are searching for the secrets contained within the books. And you have done well so far. <laughs> but still cool off track to be on, right? Yeah, I mean, I know. I'm, we didn't even get started and, and the, tr the tracks have just totally derailed. Um, but yeah, so I would I would do that. And I would listen to them and then you get to the, these parts and it was like, oh yeah, it's probably time for me to like put in a different game. But I used to love listening to the music of these games. It was great studying music and everything else. So it's just kind of neat how they how they pulled it off. And so at any event, um, <laughs> so we're playing, we're playing East 4, Memories of Cell Senate today. I promise we're going to eventually play this today. And so, uh, so anyway, we're playing the, the Falcon remake of that, that they did in 2012. The original game there, again, there are two versions. There's the Tonkin House version that they made for the, uh, Super Nintendo. And then there was the TurboGrafx version done by Hudson Soft, and they had slightly differing plots. And so we're playing the Falcom remake where they took those two plots and they somehow put them into the same actual game and made it coherent. How they pulled that off, I have no idea, but, uh, but Falcom did it. And so that's the version of the game that we are going to be playing today. And up until this point, we have... So Adol, our main character, he has amnesia. Uh, the Forest of Celsetta has all sorts of rumors of people getting lost in it and all sorts of things. Now, no stories of amnesiacs, but there are always stories about people going into the woods of Celsetta and just disappearing or losing track of time or getting completely disoriented. And we have discovered why, because we've gone through so many of those areas where uh, it is very difficult to get through. There was that one part where there was like the labyrinth maze part where we had to actually just notice where the flower was and that was the correct exit. 
ninety uh, percent of JRPG characters have amnesia. <laughs> I, that ninety percent figure sounds a little high, Ghosty, but it's a trope for a reason. It does happen a lot. But yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah, you're spot on. There are so so many characters. So so Adol has his amnesia arc in this game, but we also found out plot wise why because there is this angelic figure Eldiel who we have now discovered through our meanderings through all of this who uh lives in the tower of prominence which is sort of like a discount uh Kmart version of Darm Tower from East 1 still it was a pretty neat was a pretty neat dungeon all in all except for that super annoying boss who we never have to fight again thank goodness that thing was that thing sucked but we got past that we got the dash boots we were able to get up this tower uh, and then we met Eldiel, and then he almost had like multiple personality disorder where he then tries to like sort of kill us and he kind of snaps out of it. We get the hell out of there. Eldiel, you know, it disappears. Lisa gets tricked by this uh, Roman commander to uh, give him the Mask of the Sun, lying to her, telling her that the Mask of the Sun will restore Eldiel, but really the Mask of the Sun actually gains access to the Temple of the Sun where, because the Mask of the Sun can read the Akashic Records which have in them the blueprints of the world. We already have a pretty good idea of the type of <laughs> trouble these nefarious ne'er-do-wells are going to be up to once they get the blueprints of the world. And so right now we're trying to stop them. And what we need to do is figure out how to, an alternate way to get into the Temple of the Sun. And that's that's really what we're what we're trying to do here. And so without any further ado... Let's get this party started. Let's uh, let's fire up in game here. Let's get this started. Let's actually look for let's actually look for that alternate background music. And let's also make sure that my game music isn't too loud. I, of course, over the last couple of days, I decided to fiddle with my audio settings again. And so <laughs> we are, uh, I'm, um, uh, I'm just kind of still navigating, uh, that I'm continuing to tweak them. I dialed back the compressor a little bit. I, I sat like I was listening to some of the VODs and my compression still sounded a little higher than I would like. And so I've dialed that back. That should really help with some of the clarity and good game. The game audio doesn't look too loud. Perfect. Let's, oh, darn it. Let's exit. Ugh. Oh, so lame. I totally forgot to plug in my controller. Let's actually do that. Let's plug in my controller. Because I don't think playing that game with a mouse and keyboard is going to be a very rewarding experience. Let's turn you on. Completely forgot to do this prior to stream. Let's shift the buttons. Okay, let's reload Steam because Steam does not like it when I plug in a controller mid-session. It eventually figures it out, but it's just easier to restart Steam. So let's do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Seraph, uh, you know, here here on the uh, Empyrean, we're, my little channel here, we do strive not to be too professional. So fun, that used to be our slogan also when we were at the radio station. Whenever we kind of screwed something up, it's like, well, <laughs> you are listening to uh, the 91.7 FM Owl Radio, where we strive not to be too professional. It's always kind of a fun, fun joke here. Okay. Good deal. Oh, apparently there's the summer sale. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Seraph's wallet's going to be in trouble. Uh, yeah, save and launch. Let's try that again. Good. It looks like it's registering. Perfect. Okay. Let's try that again. Good. And the buttons are registering. Uh, let's not hover over that. Thank you. Okay. And so we reached this. Now, I don't even know if this is where I want to go yet, but that's neither here nor there. Let's also go to the journal. Let's see what other... Okay, right. We're trying to find the Mask of the Moon. So we've reached the Lake Tomes Runes. Let's start looking for clues right away. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm almost tempted to continue looking around, but yeah, we're here. And we've got a couple of characters. I think I'm still going to go with Durin here and Karna, because Durin can open cabinets and Karna can has range which I do prefer. So let's do this. All right, I think we're here. Let's also check the map. Let's see. All right, oh, we've also got this memory. Ooh, we should probably track down that memory if we can. 
You know what? Yeah, let's backtrack it. Let's see if we could go up and get this memory before investigating this. We definitely need to do... Whoops, did not want to do that. Why? Oh, okay, it's just doing that. Plus, we still need to go to... The... Oh, right, the Tower of Providence. There's a chest in there that we missed. Oh, that's so lame. I don't really... Do I want to go back into that freaking... Oh, there's also this. There's a treasure chest over there that we missed. How did we miss a treasure chest? Come on. Fine. There's a colonial battlefield chest over there? Yeah, let's warp to the colonial battlefield. Let's get that chest. The chest we missed? Yeah, there's that thing that we tried to fight, but it wouldn't let us past it. We probably need the mask, the mask of the moon. Oh, yeah, look at that. Totally missed this. Ooh, I'm glad I picked it up. Sweet. Let's go back to the map. Warp. And... Yeah, I kind of want to... Oh, right! We can talk to the ruse now! Yeah, we totally should do that! We have the artifact that let us talk to them. And, of course, I end up finding the artifact after we can talk to them. Yep, become ruse. We can speak with them and prevent attacks. Sweet. Yeah, so let's find out. Let's actually talk to these people. Find out what they know. <clears throat> I haven't seen you around here before. Oh, I don't really care. Oh, nice. I'm so glad I learned to talk to you. You want to buy something? I think I have a lot of goods to sell, but maybe not. No, you have some good stuff. Wrote a droplet. We can recover. Uh, oh, yeah, I should definitely... Hey, say you, Paul Star. Greetings! We are playing what I hope is the final session of East 4, Memories of Silsetta. <coughs> Let's see. Did I not buy that? Did I seriously not buy that? I didn't just buy it and then forget about it. Yeah, okay. I guess I didn't. So let's buy the Holy Glove. Yeah, we'll equip that to Durin. And yeah, let's equip that on Karna. Since we're using those right now. <laughs> How's your weekend going, uh, Seu Polestar? Greetings. Greetings, greetings. <clears throat> okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? That is the eternal question here. Oh, right, I'm talking to these guys. Now that we can actually understand their language, what's your name? What is it? Hmm, I see. I see. So your name is Adaru. <laughs> That's a cool name. Super cool. Oh, you're doing the same thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think, therefore, I am. Oh, God, Aristotle. Oh, my goodness, they really went there. <laughs> but I am what? <laughs> uh, you new around here? I'm the strongest sacred beast in town. Name's Arugant? Oh my goodness. They're all puns. Rupture. Oh, they're all pun names. They're all... Now I'm, I'm mad. I'm feeling onery. I, and here now I wish I never embarrassed. Oh dear lord. Now I'm wishing I'd never spoken to any of these roos. <laughs> this, is, this is funny, though. Listen, listen, the other day I ate a rota fruit. It was the bestest rota fruit I ever ate. You want to know why? Of course you want to know why. And I want you to know why. It was really, really sweet. How sweet? Mm. But as sweet as honey, maybe. Yes, yes, honey will do. It's that sweet. Although, come to think of it, it may have been even sweeter than honey. The point is, it was sweet. I've never tasted anything like it. Probably won't taste anything like it again either. Moving on. The other day, the grand roux. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't eat anymore. Okay. And then we already talked to the Grand Root. All right, so this was that. But what we could probably use that for is talking... Ooh, you know what? Let's do that. Instead of trying to kill it... Let's try to talk to it. Hey, Rob, how are you doing, my friend? Greetings! Let's try and talk to this thing. What's the worst that could happen? We talk to you? We talk to it? No? 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 Can't talk to you? Okay, fine. We apparently can't talk to it. That's super lame. Fine. We apparently can't talk to it. 
Oh, that's not what I want. I do that constantly. How's your weekend going, my friend? <clears throat> okay, we can undo that. Yeah, let's just turn the Gale shoes back on. And let's go the other direction this time. Let's go explore. But it was worth a try. I mean, if we could just talk our way past it, that would have been super awesome. I mean, it didn't work that way, but, you know, would have been nice. Right. So we go out this way. Poor things. Have a hard time slowing down. All right. So let's go up this time. It just occurred to me, I... Let's fix that. Hmm. Like, sound doesn't quite sound right. There we go. Not that that would affect anything on your guys' part, but um, I wasn't hearing this the game audio through my headphones. I was hearing it through my speakers. There we go. Oh, we learned a skill. Sweet. Uh, hit me. That sucks. I can't believe I didn't notice until just now. <laughs> we got purple stones. Okay, we got more healing items. Those take care of status effects. Oh shit, that looks bad. Well, that was large. Okay, let's get this memory. That was the reason, whole reason we went over here. <clears throat> oh, and we've got a snowy region. Because of course we have a snowy region. I thought it seemed awfully cold. Is this snow? Indeed, this is the sacred Mount Vesuvio. It's said that before taking up the throne, King Lafonce isolated himself here to prepare himself for the challenges ahead. Well, it makes sense that Oh, well, that looks badass. I've never seen or heard of such a peculiarly shaped mountain before. Which of the peaks should we be aiming for? There seem to be two of them. Two very distinct ones, yes. The eastern peak is always covered in snow, while the western peak is an active volcano, always billowing smoke like it is now. Gee, Vesuvio being a volcano. Shocker. We can't climb the western peak at the moment, but we should be able to reach the snowy eastern peak from here. Oh, so it's going to make me go up the eastern one first. The Grand Ruin, the Rota Tree, felt an energy here similar to the Mask of the Moon, so we don't have much choice. I'd suggest we not think too much about the road ahead and just start climbing. Come along now, pick up the pace. Oh, fuck, who's that? Yep. <laughs> Get old Leo. Left, right, left. <coughs> Holtzman. One, two, three. Eddie's. I'm exhausted, Sancho. Why do we have to keep running around like this? <laughs> and why is it so cold here? If you want to stay warm, keep moving. Being cold is your body's way of telling you that it's not moving fast enough. Please let us rest. <laughs> They're always so embarrassed when this guy's around. If it isn't at all. Have you come to get in our way again? I've literally never obstructed your path once, Leo. <laughs> you know, I could totally see you getting an hour away, but I can't remember a Oh, look at that! <laughs> Perfect timing. Thank you, Durin, for saying exactly what I was thinking. What are you doing here, anyway? Aren't you supposed to be tailing Gruta? Because trust me, you're way off the mark if you think he's anywhere near this mountain. Huh, we're not telling. It's our secret, and we'll take it to the grave with us if we have to. Right, Commander? No, I'll tell you if you really want to know. <laughs> well, that's not like you. They helped us out in the Ashen Forest, and I despise being indebted to people. But we worked so hard to get that information. 
Silence! Stinginess is not befitting of a Roman soldier! Now listen, and listen well. There's currently a large group of mass division soldiers mobilized on this mountain! Really? And yet Gruda is inside the Temple of the Sun. Their place is with their commanding officer, so I couldn't help but wonder why they'd come here instead. My instincts tell me they're looking for something important on this mountain. That's not good. Could they be looking for the Mask of the Moon as well? Seems the most likely possibility. Hiltil should certainly know of its existence. I guess we need to pick up the pace then. Still, I'm surprised you three managed to uncover that kind of intelligence. It's some pretty good work. What a what a low-key way of saying, I thought you guys were way too dumb to figure that out. <laughs> well, when you spend most of your days running around, you do overhear a lot of things. Yep, all you're doing is hiding and listening after all. Silence! Before we go on ahead, I have one final question. Young lady, would you happen to be related to a man named Remnos? Uh, yeah, she's literally his sister. You know Remnos? Hmm. Much as I don't trust him, he is still technically a fellow Ramun commander, and he seems quite capable in the role. So, you? That is to say, if you want another chance to talk to him, you should go on ahead. And you should hurry. Ah, Remnos is up the mountain. Right, that's enough, men. Sancho, Panza, we're leaving. What? We only just got here. Oh, boy. Give it up, Panza. You know he's not going to listen. No <laughs> Onward, much! Well, wait. Commander, wait for us! <laughs> oh, the comic relief delivers again. Off they go. Alright. So now let's get to this memory. And of course, this memory is... Because it's red, it's going to be a memory of something that we... It's not our memory, it's somebody else's memory. Ah, oh, the Governor General. Excuse me, Governor General? Oh, Leo again. Governor General? Oh, it's you, Leo. My apologies, I was lost in thought. I admit, I am somewhat surprised on hearing that you, of all people, became the Governor General of Salsetta. I never expected to find the fourth princess of the Imperial Roman Empire herself in a place like this. I did not know she was the fourth princess. Okay, then. <laughs> Royalty. Please don't call me that. Here, I'm to be regarded solely as Governor General Griselda. Besides, I've been scorned by the Empire in much as the same way you have, Roaring Leo. I see. But I have no intention of looking back upon my past with shame. I firmly believe there must be a task that only we can complete here in this land. Whatever that task may be, I'll be counting on you, Commander Leo. Yes, ma'am. I'm honored. Alright. And we got our nice little strength buff. Okay, did we explore everything? Well, there's stuff to explore over there. And I guess there's something over here. But let's go over this way. I think it's going to make us stop at some point. Oh, there's that guy again. Eh, fuck it. Oh, yeah, they literally just stop us from advancing. That's super lame. All right, fine. I mean, to be fair, the game did tell us don't bother going up to the... Go up, uh, did pretty much tell us don't bother going up there. So, fine. We've done a lot. Let's save. Since we're near a monument. Let's go see what's up here. Oh! I sort of recognize this track. It sounds very familiar. Oh, and I gained a level. Sweet. Take that. Oh, we can just fight these? Okay, cool. We don't have to use that other item. I guess because it's snow. Oh, we poisoned him. That's nice. Take that, asshole.
Oh, somebody else gained a level before. Now I gained a level. Sweet. Give us more stuff. Okay. So we're going to want to get that at some juncture. Yeah, I'm digging this music. Sucks when they actually hit you. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Super combo. Yeah, got an ad playing, but that's all right. We're just gonna fader this out. Let's see. Got another plant down there. Is it worth getting? Eh, it's probably not worth getting. What's up at the end of this, though? Ah. My turn. Leave it to me. Perfect. That's all we were able to come up here. Nothing else up here. That was the sole purpose of going up there. Come on, Adol, get up there. That is a badass looking Diclave. Oh, we got a memory. Oh, and this one was just scripted. Interesting. Who on earth is this? I don't recognize this person at all. I see you knew where to find him. Okay, so that's obviously Lord Eldiel behind this dude. And it's Eldiel being himself. But yeah, I have no idea who this dude is. Maybe this is King Lafont's once upon a time? Let's find out. Should you really be here now? Your five retainers are worried about your absence from the temple. As the place where I first swore to become king. Yep, this is Lafont's. This is the starting point of who I am now. There's nowhere more suitable than I when I wish to think undisturbed. You'd be quite the troublesome monarch, disappearing every time you have something to think about. So we're looking at a memory that's over 800 years old at this point. Ah, so I heard about the tower. What inspired you to build one in such a place? Oh, nothing in particular. It's just a little retreat for myself. Besides, perhaps a place suitable for me to think undisturbed? <laughs> Are you intending to leave El Duke then? One day, yes. I've told you before, I intend to leave the kingdom of Celceta to mankind, once I feel mankind is ready to take care of her. But it is best to do so in stages. First I shall leave the Temple of the Sun, and lend support from behind the scenes. Yes, I recall you discussing that plan once before. I intend to gradually move more and more into the background, so much so that one day people will completely forget my existence. At which point, I'll merely watch over them, living a life of peace and serenity. That's my plan, anyway. I see. I would expect no less from you. Well, wish me luck, old friend. I'm going off to work toward this retirement of mine, bit by bit. Hmm. Alright, so Eldiel himself. You know, actually, they did hint at that earlier, that Eldiel himself basically ruled uh, Salceta himself. Is that someone's memory? He was talking to Lord Eldiel. At all. Could that have been? Yep, LaFonce. That was my thought as well. So that's Lisa's ancestor, the founder of the Kingdom of Celceta. Seems like those two were pretty close. So this is what the Rota Tree meant by experiencing LaFonce's memories. I had no idea it would be so literal. And it looks like they, expa they experienced it as well, which is normally when we're experiencing those memories, it's just at all experiencing it. This time, everybody seemed to have experienced it. So that's kind of cool. There may be other locations ahead where his memories remain. I suspect you're right. We should keep an eye out for more as we go. So, that being the case, it's going to show us where memory locations are. No, it's not going to show us. Ooh, we're getting awfully close to 100. We're getting really close to 100. Fortunately, there's that, which is going to be part of it. Man, we are really closing in here. 
I wonder if the Temple of the Sun doesn't count for the 100%. I'm guessing that's going to be the case. That's pretty cool, though. We are so close to that now. Sweet. So we got all this. I love smacking them up in the air and letting them just aerial combo the shit out of them. Seems to be a combination that works pretty well. Whoops. Definitely didn't want to be anywhere near that. Damn it. That stupid penguin is just running all over the place. Look, bastard. Like weird mutant penguin. I guess that turns into Onyx. Where are we now? Now okay, we just juggle them. Problem solved. Back up the kill. We can't do anything with this, right? I don't think so. Just in case. Okay. Nope, it's not destroyable. But I had to check. Uh, we know what this deals with. fuck up here. Okay, it's obviously a puzzle. Now. Okay, I see how this works. We seal this one, the other one will have more... Yep, okay. Yeah, I should have figured that out. see what this is. Probably a... Increases obtained XP. Yeah, that's not great. We're getting plenty of XP. That's really not the issue. Obtain SP when damaged. Well, alright. I mean, I guess that's nice. But, whatever. You know what? Actually, fuck it. <laughs> Let's have Adol level up a little bit more. That actually is kind of neat. These are fine. Oh, wow. Skill... SP consumption minus 35? <clears throat> Hell yeah. My turn. Oh wait. Oh, damn it. Leave it to me. All right. Now. Now I see how this works. So now we do the same, and we go up the other way. Now. Ah, 
Not what I wanted. There we go. Alright, well, before we go down that... Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Fuck. Oh, that's so lame. Well, that just happened. I'm guessing I could fall. I god, yeah, this sucks. Okay. I hate ice levels so much. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we could get up that way by boosting. Oh, this is super lame. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me it's a boss. Don't tell me it's a boss. Harp music. That's going to be Remnos. Yep. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. I have a feeling this is going to be a boss battle. I really, 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 really would have rather saved before doing this. Karna, Adol, I knew you'd come. That's a lovely tune. <laughs> Adol, you're as pleasant as ever. What are you trying to find here? Must be pretty damned important if you need as many soldiers to get it. Oh, I think you know. So one thing I really that's a criticism of this game is they don't do a very good job of letting you know, hey, there's going to be a boss here. So, you know, for someone like me that might want to save before that, like if this turns completely pear-shaped, if we have to go to the very beginning of this and do this all over again, would be super annoying. So hopefully we don't have to do that. Well, I think you know. Now that he has the Mask of the Sun, there's only one thing left Lord Gruta still needs. The Mask of the Moon, formerly owned by King Lafonce of Salsetta. I was afraid you'd say that. So you're here for the same reason we are. Well, there was always a chance such a legendary artifact might possess the same power as the Mask of the Sun. Fortunately, it seems his worries were in vain. What do you mean? We've already located the Mask of the Moon. You are right, it's thinking here in this mountain. What? However, it's not... It, not only is it broken in half, so we are going to have to go both places. It appears to have lost all of its former power. It's just a decoration now. Yeah, but once we unite it, I'm guessing it's going to be full. Say before boss, who even does that? <laughs> right? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> of course. And since we have no use for a broken shell of a mask, we just left it where it was. Oh, you fools. Thank you for leaving it for me. So you're just going to let us have it? If you don't believe me, by all means, go and have a look for yourself. This whole excursion has been nothing but a huge waste of time. I have no desire to waste more. If you'll excuse me, yes, please go. I'd really rather not have to fight you right now. Wait! No, no, Karna! We, we, we didn't have to fight a boss battle. Oh, damn it, Karna! What's happening to my mask? Yeah, we're gonna have to fight this dude. Yeah! Remnos! What's going on? I knew we couldn't trust you. Did Lord Gruda not ask you to bring him the Mask of the Moon? It may have lost its power, but you have your orders. Why aren't you following them? It's not for you to decide what Lord Gruda wants. It's her. Oh, I wasn't using the right voice there. Ah, yes. Our wonderful sorceress friend. Weren't you supposed to be at the temple? Don't be coy with me. When you broke free of my spell on law on your own, I knew you had potential. Imagine my surprise when you suddenly pledged loyalty to Lord Gruda and excelled beyond all expectations as a leader of the Mask Division. Your talents were great, and you needed no coaxing to help us. It's like you were the perfect lackey. A little too perfect. Got me there. Never thought I'd hear you compliment me so highly. I'm honored. Don't mock me. I knew I couldn't let my guard down around you. Lately, I haven't been able to read your thoughts. That's why I've decided to tweak your mask. I said it so that if you ever did anything that ran counter to our orders, it would take your life. What? Oh. You would look at that. Would you look at that? My little modification just kicked in. <laughs> He's like, finally, some good rest. <laughs> we were thinking of giving the mask of the moon to them, weren't you? Oh, dear. I mean, that does kind of make sense. I was doing so well, too. I can't believe I let my guard down at the last moment. Remnos, you... 
The mass division is approaching. Whoa, 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 hold on now. Are you telling me that everything Remnos has been doing this whole time was a ruse, it would seem. He pretended to obey Gruta, all the while gathering information to use against him. <laughs> I never doubted you for a minute. <laughs> really? I thought my acting was fairly splendid, if I do say so myself. Silence! How dare you betray me! How dare you bring shame upon me like this! The spell I cast upon your mask will squeeze the life out of you, bit by bit. Till the pressure finally ends you. Well, not if we end you first, Bami. Don't worry, your dear sister will be joining you on your trip to the under- Oh, you fucked up now, Bami. <laughs> Where did she go? Oh, of course she teleports away. I bet to recover the Mask of the Moon. We must dispatch these soldiers to pursue. Watch out, Adol. Alright, we can handle assholes. Fuck these assholes. Wow, that did not kill them. That's amazing. Where's the last one? Oh, we got them all. <laughs> Never mind. What? Now we find out if this dude's actually dying or not. That was the last of them. Ugh. Rumnos! We'll find a way to get you out of this. I swear we will. Cart not after Bami. If she gets the mask, the moon. But but. If you want to save him, you'd better hurry. Ah, Leo. Leo? Hey there, Leo. Hmm, not so tough now, are you? We we could save him. How? Tell me. The only way to break Bami's curse is to stop it at the source. In other words, we're going to have to take her down. Where'd you hear that? We overheard some of the guards talking about it when we were sneaking by. Yes! Exactly! We were listening in on the enemy's communications. It was genius intelligence scattering at its finest. We're really gonna have to hurry, both to find the mask and to save Ramos. Kalilika. Go, as fast as you can. Everything this man has done has been for the sake of his homeland. He's been pretending to obey Bami from the start, starting to solve the mystery of the mask so he could pass that information on to you, eventually. What? So you knew all along, did you? Yeah, you didn't fool any of us, buddy. <laughs> Much as I hate to admit it, He's a chivalrous warrior. Leave him to me. I'll look after him until you return. Commander Leo, thank you. We owe you one. There's no need to thank me. Just go and get the Mask of the Moon and open the temple door already. Otherwise, we won't be able to continue trailing Gruta. Look, he's blushing. <laughs> I'm not surprised. People usually complain to him or just straight up insult him. He doesn't get thanked very often. Silence! That's an order! We're going to need to take him somewhere safe. How about the ruse nest near El Duke? It's not far from here at all. Yeah, that'd be your best bet, I think. Durin described to Leo the exact location of the ruse nest. Very well, we'll be waiting for you there. Now hurry along, Adol. You've got no time to waste. Hey, Crosshair, how are you, my friend? Just got back from a Taekwondo. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I used to, uh, I used to go to a dojo that, uh, that practiced Tang Sudo. So, um... See, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with martial arts. How did you do? I loved going to tournaments. Tournaments were fun. Let's go. Remnos, I'll take her down and break this curse myself. I won't let anything happen to you. Karna, at all. Take care. Yeah, I haven't practiced it all that much lately. Okay, I kind of want to warp back to the surface and go back in there and get whatever treasure chest that was. So that's the way we are supposed to go. I lost, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, tournaments can be tough. Whoops. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I'm frozen. Hey. Ow, god damn it. 
Okay. Um. Man, these guys are brutal. Is that all you got? Okay, well, we got this one. You know what? Let's just let's just distract these guys for a minute. Yeah, fuck these guys. It's not worth it. Leave it to me. All right. And then map. Let's warp to the snowy peak. Let's just start over. This time going the correct way. We're just gonna pass these guys. Sweet. Yeah, the reason why I kind of got away from that later in life is, um... It's just, there's a lot of jumping, there's a lot of kicking, and it's just really, really hard on your knees. Uh, when do you think you'll be able to play Kingdom Hearts? Good question. Um, so, you know, part of me is wondering, because obviously um, I'm still going to school, and so that's my primary time sink, essentially. I spend most of my time either reading academic journals or getting ready for... Ow. Ouch there. Sorry. These assholes. Ended up distracting me a little bit here. Um, so, of course, the question is, you know, what do I play after this? Oh, they're going to freeze me again. Damn it. This dude sucks. Oh, come on. He's getting me in a freezing... There we go. Killed him that time. All right. So now let's move on with life here. Uh, actually, let's just sit still for a second and regenerate some of that health. Uh, it's on sale right... Oh, it is on sale right now. So maybe, maybe that would be good to play. So part of me is wondering what I'm going to play next after I beat this. Because East 5 is definitely on, um, is going to be next as far as my East series goes. But I don't think I'm going to be playing more than three games at any given time actively. And I still think Fallout 4 is going to take a while. But I do want to play like my Ru Mount Rushmore. Oh, fuck. Fine. Let's try that again. This time, actually healing. And, um... So... Yeah, Kingdom Hearts might be just as good a thing to play as any. So, you know, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I should play that. So possibly soon. Uh, there's no HUD in Kingdom Hearts. Interesting. That is very interesting. There's no heads-up display? Curious. Yeah, when people were playing that back when it came out, it looked great, and everyone kind of raved about it. Now, I've heard the first one is a little rough around the edges, and then the developer, I think it was Square Enix. Yeah, it was Square Enix, um, with their partnership with all the Disney properties. Uh, after that, the battle systems and the whole game systems after that were much more refined. From what I gather, anyway. And once this thing fills up, yeah, we're saving. I'm not going through that shit again. And this time, Seraph is going to go through that one area. And I'm not going to... Jeez, these assholes. <laughs> Just health bar and MP bar. That's pretty neat. Ah. Oh. oh, come on. Get me away from that. At this point, I just want to get back to where I was. Ugh. Hey, get me up here. Oh, come on. But we're... We've got the correct order. Thank you. I'm like, why won't it send me up there? That was weird. Alright, so this time I'm actually going to go down this way. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, we got a diamond. That is fucking rare. Uh, I wonder what it's all... What else is this way? Oh, come on! 
Okay. I've had enough of that. I have definitely had enough of being frozen. Okay. Down we go. Oh, we can go back up too. Um, so, uh, you also have partners. Oh, nice. I imagine kind of like this game. Nope. Not happening, buddy. Yeah, let's fuck this guy up. Oh, I wanted you to go off this one. Oh, well. That one's dead anyway. Okay, so what was over here that was worth it? Well, looks like that's it. I, I guess that is it. Our partners are Disney characters. <laughs> Why I'm sneezing, who knows. I'm going to blame that on Cleo, since I am allergic to my cat and all. Oh, fuck no. Okay, so I totally should have just gone through this area first. See, so yeah, once we fall down this, it's over. Yeah, there's nothing else we could really do from his point. I'm still assuming we could fall down that. We didn't go this way yet. Oh, yes, we did. That's right. We don't want to be anywhere near that. <laughs> okay, this is where we dealt with Remnos. Whoops, nope, 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 nope. Don't fall. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> if we fall there, we, we we will die. We will die horrible, horrible deaths. What it probably does is we fall... You know what? I might just save and see what happens. Because in uh, Oath of Fulgana, if you fall, you go to a completely different area of the dungeon... So I kind of want to see what happens. I'm a little curious. I'm just waiting for my health bar to heal up here. And then once that happens... Let's find out. Do we go to some weird spot? Let's go. Let's find out. Yep. Okay. We drop down. Ah, okay. So if we fall, we drop down here. And we just have to do it again. All right. That's not the end of the world. That's not terrible. It's just annoying, but that's not the end-all be-all. Damn, that means I didn't have to warp out. Oh, well. Well, now I know. Alright. Be gone. I really am enjoying Destiny 2. I've heard it's a great game. Um, Phoenix Nade plays that. Oh. Uh, he really enjoys it. Let's see what's going on with these assholes. There we go. Clilic gained a level. Let's see what do we got here? Yeah. Wow, this is uh very, very snowy. Oh shit. Well, that doesn't look great. Probably didn't need to do all that. Ooh, Gale Stinger? Let's find out what the story is with that. I use Sonic Slide a lot. This one I haven't been using a whole lot. Let's see, Gale Stinger. Oh, hello, cat. Hi, cat. Who's my good girl? Wow, it's got some crazy range to it, though. Let's try that, actually. You know what? It's fast. I kind of like that it's fast. Oh, I don't know. We can just go up it. I thought I'd have to have the Gale shoes to get up this. Oh, shit. Oh, like Indiana Jones. Where did they go? 
Hello, kitty kitty. Hello, cat. Hold on a second. Let me just do that. Adol's going to have serious blisters on his ass from that slide. Yes, yeah, seriously, dude. <laughs> How are you doing, freak bot? My favorite keyblade is Darkness Keyblade in Kingdom Hearts. So I know enough to be dangerous about the keyblades. It sounds like a neat idea. Hello, cat. Brrr. Good morning, sweetie. She already had her dinner. And she certainly had her playtime more than an abundance today. You being a good girl? Hmm? You being a good girl? Yeah, you're gonna sit on my foot? It's okay, sit on my foot, baby girl. There you go, you're super comfy. Yeah, you're a good girl. I love you too. Okay, where am I? Oh, right. Alright. I can almost guarantee we're gonna have to- Hey, hey, don't play with my other foot. She's just laying down comfortable and she, like, bats at my other foot. I think just because she can. She's such a little shit. Leave it to me. Yeah, that Gale Stinger isn't too bad. It's all sudden panacea. Um, no, I want to get that treasure chest. I just didn't go far enough. Oh, well, go this way. Ah, I still managed to get hit by it. That sucked. That sucked. Starlight Stone? I have no idea what those are. And up we go. Man, this is snowy as shit. And if memory serves correctly from watching um, some of my friends play that game, some of those keyblades are obscenely sized, like Diclave level. Yeah. I don't have a good fuzzy feeling about this. Oh, Titanic Bone, huh? Nope. Yep. Bless you, cat. You okay? <laughs> and that was some crazy sneeze on my cat's part. Man, those things are beastly. Yeah, this game has been fun. I do think we're closing in on the end here, especially for fighting Bami soon, which all by all appearances will be fighting her at the end of this shit. We're gaining levels like it's nobody's business now too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Save. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about Bami freezing us. The question is... Yeah, let's go with skill consumption. Or SP consumption minus 35%. Hello, Cleo. What you doing, baby girl? I know you're a good girl. I know a good girl. <laughs> oh. I should also equip... Ow! Why are you biting my foot, cat? Ah, yeah, we definitely have some better resistances. Yes. We'll definitely take that. You've got a rune cloak. You've got a rune cloak. Oof. Okay, yeah, you're you're taking the rune cloak. Okay. Better. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Well, let's go. Ah, enjoy food. We'll see you when you get back. For the size of a keyblade of 12 or 13 year old kid. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I am sure. Oh boy. Well, I'm guessing that's where the Mask of the Moon is.
Now this area is all that remains. Man, her earrings are awesome. Stop right there, Bommy. We'll be taking the Mask of the Moon. We finally caught up with you. <laughs> if it isn't Remnos's sister, what do you think you could do to me when you can't even handle little Remnos? I see you're as unpleasant as ever. Relying on the masks, manipulating the innocent to do your bidding, following Gruta without question. Everything you have, everything you are is borrowed from someone else. You don't scare me. You're just a coward. How dare you? Hit a little close to Mark, huh? I'll admit to being a little frustrated when I found out about Remnos' abilities. It felt like all my struggles amounted to nothing, like I was doomed to be in second place from the very start. But Remnos always fought alone, with his own strength and wits. He never flaunted them. He never used others. I'm proud to call myself his sister, and embarrassed to think I could ever be jealous of him for a single moment. <laughs> and yet that strong, courageous brother of yours still lost to me. So what does that tell you about your chances? Remnos didn't lose to you. He lost to one of your cheap tricks. What's up, Cleo? Okay, before we get started with this, Cleo's looking at, she's, I think she's asking for food uh, at this point. So give me two seconds. Plus I need a quick drink refill anyway. Give me two seconds and I will be right back to complete the conclusion of this because once we get started with this boss battle, I have a feeling the shit is going to be on. So this is probably a good place to take a quick break, and I will be right back. Okay, kitty kitty. You hungry, baby girl? All right, come on. It's all right. I know I love you too. It's all right, come on.
I was right. He was hungry. Made a D&D character called Craters. I'm guessing that's a Kingdom Heart reference. Go. Perfect. It's actually funny as I get back into game here. It uh, occurs to me uh, that the last couple of followers I've gotten have not been like during stream. I like hop on. And I'm like, oh, the latest follower change. <laughs> so I do want to thank uh, some of my supporting streamers because I'm pretty sure that uh, that you guys have. I have you to thank for that, um, for the shout outs and all that. So I do appreciate it. This is a good opportunity for to, to thank everybody for that. It's pretty cool. Okay. So yes. And you only relied on those cheap tricks because you knew you couldn't defeat him uh, if you didn't. What a foolish way to view the situation. The last one standing is always the victor, no matter how that victory was achieved. And as you're about to learn, I will always be the last one standing. Another mask? Of course she flies. <sighs> well, shit. Is she still human? Her form is monstrous. So you gotta rely on cheap tricks to the bitter end. As long as I kill you all here, the Mask of the Moon will be mine. And then I'll have no need for Remnos anymore either. Let me just show you how powerless you truly are. <laughs> okay, how does she fight? Damn. Hey, she sets us on fire, so that part sucks. That looks bad. Hmm. You know what? That looks bad. Maybe I should have shot her during that whole thing. Ow. Well, that sucked. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have shot her instead of staying away from her for that whole thing. That was pretty lame. Recovers all HP. Yes. Surrender and I'll go. Leave it to me. No, no, no. Don't go anywhere near that. Ah, damn it. Ow. Damn it. You need to be punished. <laughs> Damn it. I hate when I target them because I can't undo it and it fucks with the camera angle. I don't know what does it. And one of these days I really should just go in. I'm gonna just do it now. Uh, oh, I can't go into the journal now to find out how I'm doing that. That sucks. It really is annoying because it fucks, it really does fuck with boss battles a lot. Shit, shit, shit. 
Damn it, still got zapped by one. Did a better job of a of dodging it though. Did a much better job of dodging it. Yeah, bitch. We got her. At this point it's just annoying. But we've got her. You're dead. As soon as I heard that cling, I knew we had her. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. He's all right. Just like I thought. All I had to do was defeat her. <laughs> we did it. And with that, the curse on Remno should now be broken. Congratulations, Karna. We've, you've both found and saved him. Everyone, thank you so much. Now let's go get the Mask of the Moon. There is an altar of some kind over there. Let's take a closer look. Oh, we got another memory. The Mask of the Moon? Indeed, think of it as the Mask of the Sun's counterpart, its twin. Naturally, I wasn't able to replicate the Mask of the Sun completely, but why would you create such a thing? And why give it to me? Is the Mask of the Sun not an artifact of divine power, created through arts men have long been forbidden to possess? It is as you say. Forgive my impertinence, then, but did you not already state your wish to leave the kingdom of Salsetta to mankind? Would this not go directly against those wishes? I have expressed that desire, yes. However, I have been forced to change my plans a bit. As such, I'd like you to accept this, my friend. I would prefer if you never had to use it, but I must prepare for the worst. I'll explain further another time. So it was Lord Eldiel himself who created the Mask of the Moon. He seemed to be arguing with King Alphonse about it, but I couldn't catch what the cause of the dispute was. If we knew that, we'd be considerably closer to finding some means of stopping Gruta. I wish we could just ask Lord Eldiel directly. That would make things so much easier. Could there be anyone else around who's familiar with what happened back then? Well, there's the Rota tree, but it... He didn't seem to know any more than what we were already told. That just ling leaves King Lafonce. Yeah, so unfortunate that the dead are not likely to provide many answers when questioned. For now, let's see what's inside the chest. Wow, and I'm about to level up again. Yep, there's one half of it. This is the Mask of the Moon. It's kind of in terrible shape. Looks like Remnos was right when he said it was snapped in half. The Rota Tree did mention feeling an energy source from two different locations. We might find the second half in the other location then. That would be the Lake Tolm's Ruins. I guess we know where we're headed next. Okay. Manual. Basic controls. Hey cat! Bye cat! Yeah, it doesn't really tell me. Party formation. Okay, battle control, switch, guard. Oh, you know what? That's what I'm doing. I'm. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, thank you, Freakbot. But I would like to but be able. Okay, so it's L3 that I'm hitting. That's why it kept happening. I'm like, why does that keep happening? So I'm, I'm actually pressing down on the stick. So if I undo that, it should undo that. Cool. Okay. It's a map. Man, 97.2. All right. So if we go to the Tome's Ruins now, that should be nearly complete map completion here. Thankfully, we... Oh. 
Thankfully, we've already been there. I literally just got back from folding laundry, so I actually had no idea what was going on. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Yeah, no, I was just trying to find out why I kept uh, hitting that button or uh, activating that, like, show information mode. Oh, you little bastard. You're going to regret that, you little shit. Oh my god. Look at this fucking shit. Well, you know what? I should probably try to upgrade my weapon too at some point. But holy fuck. Okay. So this is gonna be. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to be toggling this shit, raising the water level. You can just see it. You can just see this shit. Oh, so lame. <laughs> what am I doing? There we go. Fire Dragon Scales. Oh. It's not even all that. Okay, so this is all down here. Alright, fair enough. We may as well go down here and see if there's anything over here. Let's be thorough. Nope, nothing here. Good to know they could do that. Okay, so how do I get there? Hmm. How do I get there? I must have to fall down there or something. Yeah, there's got to be like it, we've got we've got to be able to fall down it or something. That's okay. I'll. Just keep that in mind as we go up this thing. Oops. Okay, well, here's a door. Okay, we've got that anyway. Well, nothing here. Okay. Uh, how do I want to do this? Wow, and you can't fall, it looks like. So how the hell am I supposed to get down there? Hmm. Okay, am I supposed to be able to get across that somehow? I think we were able to kill that guy, but... To me. Okay, so there's a treasure chest over there. Let's see if we can get it. Bastard hit me twice. Alright, we picked up some amethyst. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Leave it to me. Understood. Hey, buddy. Water's leaking through cracks. No, yeah, that's nice. So, break it, dude. You should be able to break that. Why are you not breaking it? Normally, you could break that. Do I have to be on the other side? I probably have to be on the other side of it. Yeah, I'm guessing I have to be on the other side of this. What kind of shit is this? Jeez, this is like the water temple from Link to the Past. Hmm. All right. So, I think we came in through that middle one. Didn't really have too many other options. This is a lovely fucking maze. All right, but now that gets us up here. Hmm. 
Nice. We'll take that. Sure. I don't know which one is better than that, but we'll take the slightly better one. Seven. Yep, moon cloak. Perfect. This'll do for now. Well, we managed to get up here. Oh, we got a memory. Woohoo! It's been quite some time since we were last able to meet in private like this, Your Highness. Hm. Please don't mock me. I've never been fit to be a king, and I'm still nowhere near ready to be addressed as such. I believe I've told you that several times already. Ever the cruel one you are, Eldiel. <laughs> I could say exactly the same to you. I believe I've told you countless times as well that I'm not at all fit to be regarded as a god. And yet you scold me every time I say so. I shall have to concede defeat on that one. Still, I don't feel it quite appropriate to compare a human, such as I, with a god such as you. Anxiety, impatience, envy, as long as I'm mortal, I must continue to experience the many dark emotions. Humans. I can't help but get a bit snippy on occasion, even in the presence of the only man I trust. That's quite the conniving defense. You leave me little to say in response. <laughs> I may lack many human emotions, that I am forced to admit. How does it feel to have such negative emotions? Perhaps like another person has emerged within you? Oh shit. So he's already started to know. Another person, you say? I suppose you could phrase it like that. Though it's a rather unusual turn of phrase. Uh -huh. I suppose it is. <laughs> so even back then, he was starting to go crazy. Another of King LaFonce's memories. To think an old memory like this had taken place in the very spot we stand now. Which means there could be still others in the area. I suspect you're right. We should keep an eye out for more as we go. Oh, lovely. That that looks terrible. I don't think we can win here. Oh yeah, no. Fuck that thing. Nope, goodbye. Oh. Now then. Well that looks cool. Wonder what that does. Revives wearer once upon death? That's pretty cool. Alright, we'll keep that. Alright, we came in... Oh, we came in through there. Rolled up here, and there's more to do up here, huh? Well, let's find out what's up here. That we will definitely take. I just always use those on uh, at all. Fuck it. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Adol's the one I'm controlling more often. Makes more sense to boost him. Great. Which one do I want to go down? Let's just see. Warrior Seal 4. That might be all there is here. So I chose wisely. Alright, well that's nice to do all that silver ore. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Yeah, that's all there is here. Leave it, to Leave it to me. Helps when you hit the right button. Yeah. 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 
This should lead us, yep, into this area. All right, so now I'm in this general vicinity. And that is enormous, but that's not too bad. Man, we destroyed that thing. Let's just go up here and see what's up here. Ow! You met at times I really wish there were an easier way to switch party members. It's my turn. Here goes. Ah, uh, okay. Now we could just freely go back and forth between the two zones. Okay. That does make life a little easier. <laughs> Magical launcher? <laughs> Whoops. We almost got hit by that. That would have been bad. Oh my god. All right, so there's probably going to be another one over there somewhere. Understood. All right. And at some point over here, I'm going to be able to smash a wall. Could go back down that way and connect up to that. Uh, fuck. Actually, I don't even know where we're supposed to go now because we can't get to that as far as I'm aware. I don't even see how we get over there. I'm not even sure how we get to that. Activated that. We were over there. All right, let's go. Let's go back, I guess. Let's see what we can try and figure out. Ow. Super lame. Right, let's head back. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. <sighs> We're certainly getting gold. There's nothing we could do with this thing yet. How do I get to that treasure chest? Is there anything else I could do if I keep going up in this direction? I don't think so. I think that's it. We just get kind of caught up in here, and there's no kind of double for that area. Oh. 
you. Damn. Just taking damage while I wander around. Super awesome. Kill you. Yeah, there's no way to go out through this now. Still can't go through that. Right? Can't pass through that. Nope. Alright, what is Seraph missing? Okay. Well, we lowered the water level. We're back in this area. Maybe I can... Maybe we could swim to that treasure chest now. I don't know. Let's go. You nope. Know, still can't get to it. That's still up on that raised area. What the ever living hell? Yeah, I can't get down there. So. Fine. Let's go over this way. Go back up here. Oh, God, that's annoying. Nice hat. We went this way. Nothing else to do that way. We've gone. We can go this way. Yep, that's where we had that one memory. I don't think so. Can't fight that thing. We went up there. There's nothing else to do up there. This all connects now, so it doesn't really matter. So that goes into that area. We've come full circle. What am I missing? Maybe I'll go up this way. I mean... We could go back into the water, but essentially it's all... That unlocked that. Can't get down there. Oh, you know what? Can I get in here? Nope. Won't let me go that way. Can't swim that way. Although it looks like I should be able to swim that way. Let's go this way, maybe? But I don't think there's anything else this way. Nothing to trigger that way. I feel like I should be able... There it is. Now it lets me do it. Okay. I was thinking I had to be on the other side, but I just had to be raised up a little bit. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Now we can advance past here. You little bastards. Once I'm on land and I can move again. curiosity. Wow, still only 97.2? Very little more. We're not exactly getting a lot of map completion here, are we? Uh, uh. Hate being in the water. Come to All right. Thank you. you know what? I wonder if we just sit here. Can we? Oh, right. 
I need to equip the spirit cloak, which I can't do in the water. Let's just go here. Cover some health. Give Adol, Durin, and uh, Ozma a little bit of a break here. Let them rest their feet after all this swimming, running, and fighting all the time. Better than using my limited consumables. At this point, I save those for boss battles. The nice part about East 4 is it does let you use consumables boss battles. Like, you know, both of Felgana and East Book 1 and 2 don't let you do, which, oddly enough, I think East 3 lets you use consumables in the middle of a battle. I'm almost positive I remember using them on the TurboGrafx version when I was playing that once upon a time. Save. Yeah, I'm not, like, doing major save scum with this, but, you know... After I spend some time healing and all that. Damn it. I hate these little fuckers. Of course, our ability to fight in the water sucks. Alright, well. Is there a treasure chest over here? Let's find out. Nope. Oh, shit. No, let me go. Oh, shit. We're stuck. Nope, let me out. Let me out. Oh, fuck. I can't get out. Fuck, I can't get out. It's got us trapped. Can't get out. There we go. Got it past it. Yeah, that sucked a lot. That sucked gigantically. I thought we were actually going to die there. <laughs> I mean, I could have just loaded. I mean, I could have used healing items too, but at the same time, I'm like... We were, we were pretty stuck. That was just very unfortunate. Yeah, that thing is the size of the actual area you're walking. It's virtually impossible to, uh... Nope. Nope. Let me get out of there. Thank you. Alright. Um, let's heal here. Or get the treasure chest. Um, debating on whether or not I should just wait and heal again. Kind of sucks to have to do that, but there we are. There we are. I'm guessing we've got another. Yep. Party. Lilica. Now, what does this do? I'm guessing this is going to finally raise the water level down below. Yep. Okay, so now we can get to the treasure chest that's all the way at the bottom. But that also extends stairs at the top. Okay, neat. Understood. You leave it to me. Okay, we got to go get that treasure chest now. I mean, that's a given. I don't know what's really in it, but... It's got to be something good, right? It's got to be something good to make it worth going all the way back to the bottom. Actually. Now we'll just warp to the ruins. Start the beginning, since we'll save ourselves some trouble. Yep, cool. That's exactly how it turns on and off. Oh. Well, that looks awesome. Okay. Now we could swim. Come on. Why can't I get this? Oh, because you're here. Fucker. <sighs> Got 
God, I hate these things. Found something. Thank you. This is rare. Oh, Rota Leaf. What does that do? What does a Rota Leaf do? Right, because we have the better dwarf bracelet. Purge scarf. Scarf which increases willpower. Gain SP by walking. All right, neat, I guess. Oh, okay, it's a plant material. I'm guessing I could upgrade uh, a weapon with it. I guess that's cool. No, no, no. Up, up, up. Thank you. No, like, start shit, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right. So yes, this is a new area that we went to. Is these right? No. Shit. I gotta scale all the way back up here. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I've been here. That sucks. I think I want to go down the far way. I do. Just head this way. Right? Yep. Now I can go up here. Damn it. Someone knocked it up in the air. And I couldn't get the rest of it. We're almost... Okay. Now I'm back up to where I was. Good. Theron's got better shit. I think Karna's got better shit, too. I think I'd rather keep this party. Wow, still 72... 97.2, which means I'm not getting any, any map completion from exploring the Lake Tome's ruins. Huh. So I guess dungeons don't count. It's the outside. So there must be some I need to explore over here. And probably still some over here. But otherwise, I'm really close. Is there something over here that I may have missed? Looks like there's something over here that I may not have gotten completely. Huh. That might be worth going back to. Maybe over here and just scout out this. Maybe there's something I missed. Hmm. Plateau path. The underground ruins. Whatever. Already saved. Let's do this. Ugh, what's that stench? Oof, that's awful. I feel like it's choking me. Seems to be originating from deeper within the ruins. Well, we certainly can't turn back on account of an unpleasant smell. Come on, let's just keep moving. Oh, you little shit. You've hit me with that enough times. Boom. Nope. Goodbye. 
No, thank you. Ah. I knew when it started its attack, I could get it. Alright, so now we've got... God only knows what up here. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. And I think we'll stick with this party. We got this. Whoa, look! Yep, that's our other half of the mask. So I'm guessing now we fight the Beat Stamer. Yeah, this must be the source of that awful smell. Probably be more of those sacred beasts that he's been rearing. The water outside is so clean, too. What's the purpose of this area, Frida? It's the source of all the primeval land's water. The source of all the primeval land's water, but it's filthy. It's about to begin. What is? Uh, are those? Yep. Hold on, aren't those Spartas? That's right, the sacred beasts Eldiel sent to this land, and you're about to witness what makes them so sacred. Amazing! I've never heard them cry like this before. It's like they're singing! What's that red liquid? Oh, whoa, it's the very poison we encountered in Cell Ray, but why? No one is threatening them. Oh, my. The water, it, it is turning clear. What's going on? Salceta was once thought to be a barren place where nothing could grow. It was then that Lord Eldiel sent the Spartas, who transformed this wasteland into a lush forest overflowing with life. And even now, they're responsible for purifying the waters of the Great Forest. Purifying it? That red liquid is not poison? Poison, I'm afraid I don't know exactly how the process works. But what I do know is that the water they purify eventually flows into the river, which carries it to every part of the land. The Spartas are effectively the guardians of all life in Celceta. Wow, and that dude didn't know that. Although his par parents probably did. Yeah, this beast tame... Where is this beast tamer? Where is this fucker? Oh, and I'm about to level up. You know what? Let's... Okay. Real quick. Let's fight something so I level up. So I'm like right there. There we go. I was like right there. So it just made so much sense just to level up really fast. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's literally just like three enemies. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm like right there. Memory time. Now this other dipshit's probably going to show up. I'm surprised we're getting the memory first, but so it goes. The kingdom of Salsada could not have come into existence were it not for the Spartas. I doubt anyone who looked at this land for the first time could possibly imagine it was once an infertile wasteland. Did you not call me here today as you wish to discuss something? You have worry written all over your face. Hmm. I can't keep anything from you, can I? You're far too easy to read, my friend. I could do so in my sleep. <sighs> Damn it. Eldiel gave me the suggestion. I couldn't help it. <laughs> My worry is related to the Spartas. Their purifying abilities are far too potent and act as a deadly poison in the natural world. It is for this reason that I forbade anyone to remove Spartas from their natural habitat. But several days ago, some of the villagers from Selray broke that law and took a group of Spartas to the river. Oh my, what could they possibly done that for? They intend to use them in conflict 
uh, between the villages there. Oh, shit. Regrettably, by the time I'd learned this, the poison had already been released, and a village at the basin was destroyed. How tragic. Why must we humans keep repeating the same mistakes? Why must we abuse that which has been given in good faith? What have the people of Silray said regarding the matter? It seems this incident was a result of a small group of villagers acting independently. The village chief is currently working to take control of the situation. However, it appears Silray too suffered damage. I received a pledge from the village chief expressing his regrets for what happened and swearing never to allow it to recur. I see. Then my dear friend, my answer to you now is the same as my answer when I resolved to cross the ocean. <laughs> Let us watch over them. Yes, I think that's best. Hmm. So the Spartas from Selray originally came from here, huh? Adal Durin, I think I finally understand. Huh? I think I finally understand what my tribe, what my mother and father sought to protect, and the purpose behind the laws they defended. The ones about raising them? Our laws forbid us from telling others about the nature of the Spartas or the methods used to rear them, because if others should discover these methods, the tragedy we just witnessed may very well occur again. Makes sense. Explains what King Lafont said, too, about the Selray chief's pledge. Guess that's why they stopped mentioning the poison to anyone. It appears so. My ancestors, my ancestors sought to avoid repeating the past by keeping the Spartas close and stressing their sanctity as sacred beasts. Yeah, appreciate the lurk. We'll see you in a little bit. Enjoy food. Yay, food! What time is it anyway? Oh, it's getting close to six. Hmm, something else bothering you? There is, the sight we see before us. These Spartas are living in complete harmony with nature. This is the Spartas' natural habitat, the way they are meant to live. <laughs> Why do you care? Yep, here's this jackass. Although, why does he teleport? Bami, I understand. She's a sorceress. How the fuck does this guy teleport? Got us. So you found out what these big dumb animals are really like. Big deal. Your people ain't gonna do a thing different. And you know it. You're gonna go back home and go right back to snapping their tusks off. And making them do all your dirty work. The only thing keeping people and beasts together is fear. Man ain't gonna live side by side with them unless he takes charge. No. Beasts have their own sense of dignity. Just as people do. There's no reason we cannot search for a means of coexistence that allows both parties to preserve that dignity. The laws of Selray were indeed written with human convenience in mind, but... I am in a position to change those laws. Ozma. Wow. Well, now you've done it. You made me mad enough that I'm seeing red. Even like you make me sick. So now I'm going to smash your damned heads in. That's one of Gruta's masks. <laughs> My orders are to finish off the rats running around Salcedo and getting in everybody's way. And I love squashing me some rats. Yep, here it comes. I'm glad I got that extra level. It may not mean a whole lot, but... You know, shit. A little extra... What the fuck did he do to himself? <laughs> Whoa! Just like when we fought Bami. <laughs> I'm gonna splatter you lot across the lake. Damn it. Okay. That was almost bad. Let's try this first. It would be nice if I could turn that off. Yeah. 
damn it. Turn off, thank you. Ugh, no, it just switched. No. God, I hate that. Yeah, I'm thinking I probably should have been hitting him all this whole thing. Yeah, right. Still hit me? Oh fuck, you're doing this shit again? There we go. I fucked him up instead. I learned my lesson. There we go. Beat the shit out of him instead. Because you're a bitch, dude. <laughs> We won. We actually kind of kicked his ass. I mean, I had to use a healing potion, but whatever. Looks like his body couldn't handle the mask's side effects after all. I guess congratulations are in order, Ozma. You accomplished what you set out to do. No. I'm not done yet. Now that I know Gruda and his allies possess such extraordinary power, I feel I must aid in stopping him. I want to continue fighting by your side, at all. Only when this matter is fully settled will I be comfortable returning to Selray. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. I couldn't come this far alone. You are my deepest gratitude at all, Kristen. All right. Well, glad to have you with us. Yep. It's been a pleasure fighting by your side. <laughs> I would agree. Oh yeah, at all. Doesn't that altar-like thing over there look familiar? It's been bugging me since we got here. Looks like we saw the looks. It looks like the one we saw on Mount Vesuvio. Let's take a closer look. Let's grab this other one. There we go, we got our two mask fragments. This is just like the fragment we found at Mount Vesuvio, which means we now have both halves of the Mask of the Moon. It does seem like we have the whole thing now. Hold the two halves together and they fit perfectly. But how are we supposed to reattach them and get its power back? Is this the Mask of the Moon for certain? If it is, how would we even know? Maybe we should go ask the Grand Ruin the Rota Tree. Sounds like a plan to me. They do seem more likely to know the answers than anyone else. Let's go then. Time is of the essence. Oh! Acquired both halves of the Mask of the Moon. Um, what am I doing? Alright, so... That does look like there's some more stuff over in Table Mountain, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like there's something else down here that I may have missed. Did I miss something in the underground ruins? I don't think so. I mean, I know I'm missing a little bit in the Colonia Battlefield. Maybe that's all I'm missing. But it does look like something's missing over here. The fact that the road is a the river here is a little faded makes me really think there might be something over here that maybe I just didn't quite see. But maybe, I mean, there's nothing else over here. I think that's just what the map might look like. Maybe I haven't missed anything. Is it just me or does that look a little faded too? Maybe I didn't explore all the way up here? Let me just make sure. I do want to get 100% map completion. Okay, I need to go to the right. Okay. 
And then we want to go up. feel like I missed something over here. Let's make sure. Plus, if we find those other fucking things. Oh, look at that. There was something I didn't find over here. I mean, I made stupid, but... Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Whoa, that thing is fucked up. Okay, let's get the hell away from that. I don't know what the hell that was, but let's uh, get away from it. Her map. Okay, yeah, look at that. Got more map completion. Okay, now that looks more complete. Okay. So, yeah, it makes me think there is something up with this. I feel like this is as complete as I could get, but there's a little bit of a fade here. Alright, so let's go back to the Dawn East. We'll heal. Yep, we're in the right area. The fuck... I think we're missing anything up here. Oh, I can't get over there anyway. Shit. I can't connect to that anyway. God, this is annoying. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we have to go leave the ancient burrow, work our way back up the mountain, and then get back up to this zone to get whatever I may have missed up here? No, that doesn't look right. Doesn't look like we've really missed anything up here. I mean, we're there. I think uh, that might be a red herring. I don't think I'm missing anything over here, even though it looks a little weird. I think we've got all of that. Although it does weird me out that it's a little faded compared to the rest of it. That makes me think I might not have it all. What the fuck is this? Komodo Village. Forest of Dawn Camp. It's annoying that I can't warp to the Forest of Dawn Camp. Let's go back to Komodo Village. That would be the way to explore down this way. Let's just... Let's just go back. Maybe I did miss something over here. Wait a minute. Oh, nope. That's not what I'm looking for. If we find beasts like that have pig noses, though, we could do the, uh... We could do that weird quest with the, uh with the experiments. That would be nice. Alright, so now we're back over here. Just to make sure there's nothing else to explore over here. Which I don't think there is. And the good news is we could warp out at a moment's notice. Man, thank goodness for the Gale Shoes. I just allow it to run through this shit. Driving in the forest is pretty tough. Is there anything in here that we haven't discovered? Yeah, more of this forest labyrinth. But this doesn't really matter. Because we can't explore any of it. So it doesn't matter. Fuck it. Okay. Yeah, forest labyrinth. Yeah, I don't... There really wasn't any other way to explore more of that. So, that's that. I think the only thing left is on that Colonia battlefield. 
maybe over here or something? I know we're supposed to go back to the ruse nest. God damn it. Warp. <laughs> it's annoying that warp is in a separate space. Really wish it wasn't. I feel like we got all of this, but you know what? Let's just... Oh, yep, there's area over here we didn't explore, technically. I guess we never went this way. Let's go see what's up here over here. Ah, uh, and now we can, yep. And now we can go full circle where we went before. Perfect. And now we're over here. Which I think we explored all of this already. Gashin Forest. Pretty sure we did. We went up there. We couldn't get any further that way. Yeah, we... We explored this thoroughly. Good. Now we have a much easier way to get over here. Ninety-seven point eight. Damn. All right. Hopefully, the rest of it's on the colonial ba uh, colonia battlefield. If not, boy, are we going to have our work cut out for us figuring out where the last percentages are. And it might be a case where I just go, all right, fuck it, it's not worth it. <laughs> but typically, when you get that 100%, you usually get something really nice in these games. Okay, so let's go to items, artifact. Um, okay. Oh, because this is set to happen this way. That's fine. Remnos, you're okay. I assume Bami's curse is indeed and lifted then. You're a hit with the little rules, it seems. Hey. Skarna, at all. <laughs> I am in your debt. How are you feeling? Still not completely back to my old self, but I'm getting there. Worry me like that, okay? Karna, I, I'm sorry. I really overdid it this time. I stepped outside my comfort zone and look where it got me. I believe I really am better suited to playing the harp and making crafts and all. After all. Really? I'm not so sure about that. I kind of hate to admit it, but you're really impressive as a warrior. I'm sure Father and everyone else at Komodo would have been shocked if they'd seen you like that. <laughs> you really think so? Incidentally, what happened to Leo? As soon as I woke up, he ran off. He said he had a mission to take care of. He's done a lot for me, too. I need to thank him next time I see him. Well, Karna, I guess this means your journey's at an end, huh? Well, I accomplished my goal, yes, but... It's not like Remnos and I can just go back to Komodo as if everything's fine now. That's right. If we don't stop Gruta, the whole of the continent will be in grave danger. Well, that reminds me. There's something we were hoping to ask you, Remnos. Looks like you managed to recover both halves of the Mask of the Moon, then. Yeah, but they lost their power, just like you said. We're kind of at a loss now on what to do with them. The Grand Rue said that he and the Rota Tree could sense the mask in two places, but I have to admit, this wasn't quite what I was expecting. Well, there may be yet some recourse. I've been researching a few things since my arrival in El Duke, and it seems there's an old laboratory around here that was once used for researching and repairing artifacts. Artifacts? In other words, magic items. We've got quite a few of them at this point, like the Dwarf Bracelet and the Water Dragon Scales. My mace is an artifact, too. Hmm. So assuming the Mask of the Moon is an artifact as well, it may be possible to restore it at that facility. That was my thought, yes. The only problem is I don't know where the facility is located. I suppose the fastest way to find out would be to ask the Road Tree and Grand Rue. Have you spoken with them? Unfortunately, they kept asking me to play the harp for them. Constantly. Practically every hour of every day. <laughs> I've barely had a moment's rest. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Well, if they already know about you, that's at least a little less we need to explain. What do you say we go have a chat with the Rota Tree at all? Means we don't have to have this on. There's no reason to talk to these guys. 
Hey, Gramps, wake up. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Harpist, and the rest of you has returned as well. I'm sensing you also brought the Mask of the Moon with you. No? We have, and that's actually what we come to discuss. That all recounted recent events to the Grand Rue. An artifact laboratory, you say? There is indeed one nearby. However, the battle between Lord Eldio and King Lafonce was particularly fierce in that area. There's no way to know if the facility is still functional. Man, I was afraid you were going to say something like that. Looks like we may need to come up with another plan. No, no, I think this is an idea well worth exploring. You may be able to find something worthwhile there, and if nothing else. And there is an interesting visitor there at this moment. Or so says the Rotatree. An interesting visitor? Oh, could it be Lisa? Come to think of it, I wonder if Nina was able to find her successfully. The laboratory is north of the Colonial Battlefield. You should depart immediately. Hmm. It seems the Rotatree has a gift for you. A gift? Oh. Alright, I will take a sword. Yes, please and thank you. Holy shit. Thank you. Oh, aren't you a well-mannered young man? During the final years of the Kingdom of Salceta, a variety of experiments were conducted. Among them were experiments that produced living weapons, which cannot be defeated through conventional means. And many of those living weapons still lurk in the laboratory you're about to enter. Yep. So you're saying our weapons won't hurt them? Actually, didn't we run into those when we were one into those? Didn't we run into one of those when we were out on the battlefield? Are you referring to the monster that was guarding that door? If that's the case, how do we fend ourselves? The sword at all was just given as an artifact that allows you to deal the finishing blow to living weapons. I see. So without that, we would be unable to enter the laboratory. Think of it as a reward for driving away the evil that slithered its way into Ilduk. Is what the Rota Tree says. Well then, I guess I better start getting ready. Where do you think you're going? You're not done recovering yet. B but I was hoping to see that laboratory for myself. I may be useful to have along too. I might notice something you would otherwise overlook. Not happening. <laughs> you're going to stay here and rest. And that's that. Do as your older sister tells you. Just this once. Okay? Fine. Oh, <laughs> Take care, young ones. Incidentally, my back is unbearably itchy at the moment. And I would very much appreciate it if someone could scratch it for me. <laughs> says the Rota Tree. <laughs> well, at all, looks like it's back to the ancient battlefield for us. Come on. All right. Hmm. You seem unusually supportive of them, Rhoda. I suppose you're right. They seem much like him when he was young. But even the presence of his direct descendant won't make repairing the mask any easier a task. And this interesting visitor you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably Lisa, but who knows? Hell, it could be Dogi. Looking for Adol. Would not surprise me if it turns out to be Dogi. Oh, it already equipped the rune blade. Cool. Right? Right, is that what I just got? Yeah, because I was, I just had, man, that thing upgraded it by 55. Holy shit. Well, okay. I mean, it looks like what I just had, but whatever. Uh, I think I want to go to Cell Ray. Where the fuck is Cell Ray? Am I totally losing my mind? Alright, so there's Danan Village. There's Highland. So I don't want to go to Highland right now. Because Highland doesn't have anybody that can upgrade my shit. That's what I want. It's a shame I have no idea where those stupid weird boars are. I would love to know where those are so I could actually do that weapon upgrade quest. 
But for life, man, I can't can't figure out where those weird boars are. Oh, new people. It appears those soldiers have decided to come here as well. Nothing they're saying is unreasonable, but I still don't know if we could really trust them. I understand half of what they said. Let's see. Oh. Well, I could use the Soul Biter itself to upgrade my shit. I could do that. That's going to be fairly expensive to do. Oh, wow. I think some of this, there were some things that required some weird composites. So let's not do that. Wow, that drill beak can uh, boost it a lot, though, can it? What about that rota leaf? Hmm. Yeah, I only have one of those. I'd rather not waste it on that. All right. Let's just do the soul biter. Upgrade our rune blade here. I'm not really worried about it. At that point, the attack is already so boosted. Gold pedestal replica. Gold-plated replica of an ancient treasure. Yeah, I'd rather not use that. But onyx crit was a little bit. Sapphire. Oh, sapphire would boost the frozen aspect of it. You know what? Yeah, I think at this point, and gold ingot would boost that. Yes. Let's do that. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. And then one more. And we'll see. Because I do like be able to burn shit, too. Sturdy shell, burn four. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Boost a poisonous organ. <laughs> do that. That's pretty neat. Hard scale. Ooh. To boost that. Frog extract. Burn and all that. Sure. Okay. I think we're good here. Come on. Thank you. Well, look who's here. Well, if it isn't at all. Why is this person in a place like this? Well, let's just say he's no ordinary guy. Did you come here to explore the ruin, Gazok? Yeah, my shoulders have started to stiffen up a little, though. So I was wondering if there's anywhere in this area I could lie down for a spell. Actually, I think we know just the place. Really? Great. Where is it? Party informed Gazok of the Ruse Nest and explained him how to find it. Nest full of sacred beasts, huh? Sounds perfect. You heading there right now? No, I think he'll rest here for a short while first. So if there's anything you need, I'll be happy to provide my super handyman services. Just say the word. Pardon me for asking, how do you intend to do crafting without the appropriate facilities? What do you think this bag I got's for? I can do my work anywhere. I'm Gazok the Strong, remember? Oh, all right. Well, this is fucking, uh, I could have just refined here, whatever. Bitter potions. Um, how many do I already have? I have 13. Yeah, let's do that. I think I've got enough of those. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're good here. Rune Glaive. Yeah, actually I should, in case we get Frida back in here. Everybody else is good. Yeah, let's get Frida properly equipped. Everybody else is good. Oh, except for Frida. But she can't afford it. I'm out of money for that. But we're good here. Uh, buy exchange. What is exchange? Oh, yeah. Silver ore. 
Gold ore, strange mass. Yeah, I don't think there's any, I don't see any reason to do that. Accessory. Let's see, anything good? Increases obtained XP, I already have that. I don't even use it anyway. Drop rate of rare items. Oh, I could refashion that again. Oh, I still can't get the... I still can't craft a hero's cloak. Which would be nice if I had a piece of Monkey King's hair, but... I can't seem to find the Monkey King's hair. Not really sure where that is. Oh, I could build another Wanderer's Cloak, though, and equip it to somebody else. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Let's equip that on somebody else. Who do I want to use that? Rita. Who do I use a lot? I do kind of mix up all the other party members. Adol's already got one Wanderer's Cloak. I don't think I can equip another. Converts obtained gold to XP? Now that's actually pretty interesting. I'm still okay getting gold because I need gold at this point, but I don't need a lot of it. Hmm. Yeah, you can't can't equip the same one, which makes sense. Hmm. Pierce, Yeah, we'll do it. Fuck it. Now we can finally kill this thing and it'll let us kill it. Well, this is the place where we fought that monster ju that just wouldn't die. We'll have an easier time killing it this time. It appears that we arrived just at the right time. Don't think this is going to go like it did last time. The only thing that could really damage it is that artifact sword you've got, Idol. Our best bet is to knock it out for a while, search for a weak point, then give it everything we've got. Finishing blow. Oh, uses the power of the artifact sword, Emerod, to defeat living weapons. Just to make sure. Okay, should be fine. Oh, fucker. Oh, come on. That's such horse shit. There we go. Curb stomped it that time. Whew, we did it. Guess we found the right place. This has to be the artifact laboratory. It seems likely we'll encounter many more living weapons inside. We'll just have to leave those to add all. Up. Oh. Been a while since our fairy showed up. Nina! Ugh, oh, the noisy little shrimp's back. Can't say I missed her. What was that, Durin? Say it again. I dare you! <laughs> here, I love how they drew her face. <laughs> if you're here, Nina, does that mean Lisa? Well, I saw something huge flying this way and hurried after it. Oh, was it Saul? I couldn't tell for sure. This is the only place I haven't checked, so if she's not here... Oh. We're gonna have to explore this place either way, so if Lisa's here, that saves us the trouble of looking for her later. Come on, let's go inside. Tread lightly, everyone. Damn, that annoys me. And we've gone up that way as far as we can. Shit. I feel like we've missed map completion. Unless it's going to count uh, areas that we haven't been to yet. 
And maybe it is. Maybe maybe the rest of it's the area in here. Let's guess we'll find out. Okay, so we got this. Oh, it is counting this. 98.6. Alright. And I just want to make sure. No, no. 98. It's still 98.6. Fuck. Well, this is an interesting place. Damn it. That is so annoying. It's going to make me waste my ultimate skill so many times because it's the same button. Man, that really does suck a lot. Oh. Alright, well that's gonna... Well, that hopefully will wear off in a minute. I don't know what the hell that is. Fortune looks like it sucks. Yeah, let's just equip the spirit cape in case I need it. Six. Oh, that sounds like Lisa. At all, wasn't that? That was a girl's scream for sure. It seemed to be coming from above us. Quickly, let's go. Yeah, we're not getting any any additional map completion out here. So yeah, I guess the map completion is just for the overworld. Man, that freaks me the fuck out. It really does look like there's something else here that I may have missed. That's going to drive me crazy. That is going to drive me crazy. Highland Town? Yeah, there's got to be something else out there that I must have missed. Map-wise. It's got to be. All right, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Let's do this. So far, Freeze is doing very well. Greetings, Rob. Well, we got the two pieces of the Mask of the Moon, and we killed that living weapon thing that uh, we couldn't kill before. So now we're trying to, we're hoping that in this laboratory we could refuse the Mask of the Moon and make it work again. And we just heard a girl scream. So we think Li uh, Lisa might be in here as well. But here's hoping. I still haven't completed the entire map though. That's what, so that's worrying me a little bit. Look at all. Uh oh, looks like Saul is losing his freaking mind. That's not great. Lisa! At all, Kalilika! Are you okay? I'm alright, thank you. I came to the outskirts to research my ancestors when suddenly Saul just responding to my commands. He took off, brought me here, and threw me off his back. No way. Threw you off? Why would he do that? I'm afraid I don't know. This has never happened before. Saul, what do you think you're doing? What if Lisa had been hurt? Answer me! Come on. Can he even talk? Where am I? Whoa, that uh answers that, I guess. <laughs> what? What's that? Why am I here? Saul can speak? But but that's impossible. Uh you just watched him do it. <laughs> Saul, wait! Wait! Yeah, we're gonna have to fight him again. He's flown away. Looks like he's headed to the other side of the facility. Are you okay, Lisa? Yeah, I'm alright. 
but I have no idea what's going on. This is all so confusing. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer, but Saul's never, sp never spoken before now, has he? No, this is the first time he's ever said a word. I'm going after him. I have to. Go after him? What should we do, Adol? Go with her. That's right, we were headed to the other side of the facilities ourselves anyway. So please, uh, please allow us to accompany you. We would be more than happy to do so. Lisa, I'm sorry, but you're coming with us. But We have our own reasons to explore the location, so it seems only logical that we work together in this. <laughs> Besides which, we'd be happy to have you with us. Don't fight it, Lisa. Like it or not, you're coming with us. <clears throat> All right, when you put it that way, how can I say no? Thank you, everyone. So we were going this way. Right? Yep, we were going this way. Oh, Lisa's just gonna follow along with us. Nope. Yeah, I'm really liking Freeze. <laughs> Freeze is acting like a great debuff so far. Yeah, more. Oh, right. Artifact. Where is that? Dwarf bracelet, there it is. Got a starlight stone, that's kind of cool, I guess. Well, let's see why we came over here. Well, okay, we killed all of them. Leave it to me. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. Guard elixir, we'll take that. This way. Same thing, right? Yep, Selm 98.6. Nothing in here is going to expand our. Whoops. We're going to have to go back in here. Let's try and expedite this a little bit. Hold on. Did, did I just see that? Homing knives? Hell yeah. Oh, homing, oh her homing knives went got a, gained a level. That's awesome. Alright, so we just came from this direction. Alright, so let's go this way. Okay, that looked awesome. So we'll keep that. Hell yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. There we go. I just gained another level. Let's 
kill these things. And where's that big ass thing? Oh, we already killed it. My turn. <laughs> Take the life elixir. Leave it to me. And we got all these. Yep. Going up. See what's in this area. Oh, more bullshit. Joy. Okay, we already got all the materials there. That was stupid. That was a stupid hit. I shouldn't have taken it. I knew better. Well, let's see what fresh brand of bullshit awaits us here. is a hermit scarf. Guessing it's something in here. Oh, oh obtain XP when walking? That actually is kind of cool. Yeah, actually, because I do a shit ton of walking. Let's do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. We do a ridiculous amount of walking. Because we're also still going to have to figure out how we're, uh... Um... Okay, I guess there's nothing else to do here. Thank you. Okay. Scarf for a hermit. Yep. <laughs> I know. I, I don't even know what I expected. <laughs> well, upgrading all those weapons looks like it was a really smart idea. Because we are just laying waste to a lot of these things. Ah, still managed to hit me, though. Yeah, we're paralyzing them, we're freezing them, we're burning them. Just fucking them up in general. Wonder what the character actually asked there. Couldn't actually hear her real well. Alright. 
I don't know which way we should go. Let's go this way first. Okay, well that's a way down. Shit, and that's also gonna be a way down. All right, well, I guess we'll just explore piece by piece here. Fuck it. I just decided to fuck that thing up entirely. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. We got ourselves another room blade. I guess that's neat. So if I hadn't upgraded it, I would have gotten this upgrade. So you know what we might do? We might go back outside and then reinforce the rune blade I have with that rune blade plus nine. That'd be pretty cool, actually. But I don't want to do that because then we're going to have to... Ah, I mistimed it. But I don't want to do it now because otherwise we're going to have to go through this whole fucking thing again. Ow, I thought there was only anybody one. They got me on that. Double kill! Hell yeah, it is. Oh, we got another great. Probably gonna have to go down that. <laughs> well, that worked. Okay. Yep, I had a feeling. Remove the lattice grate. And now... Time to equip our dwarf bracelet again. Hmm... Well, when la faced with a lack of information, let's just guess. Actually, my turn. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, we got another sunstone, which I still don't know how to use. It to but me. it's nice that we have them. Frustrating because I feel like those sunstones are probably going to be are probably super valuable materials probably to create my ultimate weapons and I just haven't quite figured out who can make use of those to give me better shit. you okay so we went this way already uh we can go up or we can go down all that way that doesn't look like it's got another exit so let's go down this way and see what's doing we have got that under control yes good it's nice that we can trust my teammates actually do the job. Hello. Come on. Thank you. I wish that button registered a little more consistently. Ah, uh, okay, that used, used to all be connected. Leave 
Give it to me. <laughs> Dumping this. Okay, well, we'll take that. Hell yeah, Durin. Ooh, yeah, dude. So he'll now do poison. Let's go. Good, we could always use more bitter potions. By now, some of these monsters will be back. That's no big deal. We'll fight our way through them. I wonder how much XP I really am getting by walking. I wonder what misfortune actually does. Kill that bastard. Okay. Fortunately, misfortune just wears off after a while. This way, go full circle, see, make sure there's nothing here. I don't think there is. Good deal, there isn't. Thing keeps hitting me. Jesus. I keep trying to stay away from it. Okay, this thing is just being ridiculous. I've had enough of you. You motherfucker. I'm just getting warmed up. Take care of that. And enough of that, dude. Fuck that guy. I was gonna kill the other small fries first. But fuck it. <laughs> well, these ruins are fairly large. Another one of these. And then this connects us to the other area. Alright. I'm guessing this brings us back full circle here. Yep. Back to the entrance. Alright. So that being the case, let's... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go talk to that dude. Let's upgrade. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. So for some reason that brings burn, burn down and paralysis down, but it boosts poison, crit and frozen. <laughs> well, that's lame. Maybe I'll just sell it. I mean, I could raise its attack a little bit. Make it frozen. I could boost its frozen ability. But at that rate, 8,000? No, I don't think so. Can I not boost a Holy Glove with a Holy Glove? That's annoying. 
Hmm. Considering how much of those I've got, sure. Yeah, I'd rather just sell it and get 5,000 for it. Especially if you're not going to give me shit for it. Fuck it. Yep, let's do it. Frida. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That works for me. None of this is really worth it. Oh, okay, fine. Let's buy one for Frida. Cool. We're good. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to do a lot cooler shit than that, but whatever. Back into this stupid laboratory. That's a bummer. Now we can go this way. Let's see what's up here. It was worth it to at least try to upgrade. But I guess I had upgraded too many times already. Yeah, I smell a boss fight. I could go and farm enough XP to gain a level, but fuck it. Let's just see what's up here. Looks like we're back outside. Sure is windy out here. Please a look. Yep, Saul. So this is where you went off to. Come on, Adol. Saul, can you hear my voice? Why am I here? Why am I here? Saul, what could be wrong with him? Uh, my head is throbbing. The burn, the burn. What's going on? Uh. Everyone, stand aside quickly. Yep. Ah. Lisa. No way. Looks like he doesn't even recognize his own master anymore. He's completely lost it. If we don't stop him, our lives are in danger. Yep, it's time. Lisa, I'm sorry, but we're going to need to try to subdue him. Is that all right? Yes, of course. I have no desire to put anyone in any more danger. Do what you must. All right, let's go, Adol. Oh, boy. Damn it. I forgot how annoying that shit is. Damn it. You have to react so fast. Really? Oh, 
Okay. So I see how this works. We have to essentially destroy his limbs. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's bull shit. Damn it. Not fast enough. Ah. Oh. All right. Not the end of the world. I, I, at this point, I've got this figured out, I think. We can't do any damage to him in this state. There we go. Damn it. Mm. I hate having to use all my bitter potions because I keep fucking up. Stop that. Turn off of that. Damn it. Damn it. Couldn't do it. Turn off already. Damn it. it. I keep turning it off and it keeps not turning off. I hate that. I hate that so much. I didn't mean to turn that on and it's so distracting. I wish that weren't even possible to do. Because it totally changes the camera. Like, it follows it and does all sorts of shit it doesn't do normally. Yeah, I'm avoiding that. Damn it. At least I avoided that shot. There we go. Good, thank you. I okay, got a couple of shots in. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? Why am I stunned? Why am I stunned? Oh, come on. Can I... They're all status ailments. <laughs> hey, Sarah, how are you, my friend? <laughs> yeah, we're having fun with the boss here. Oh, that doesn't... That wasn't a status ailment. It just sort of happens. Awesome. Okay, we got that. So now we just need to get the rest. Damn. Thought I had it timed up right. I did not. Come on. Here we go. Let's try and get the rest of these. There we go. That should stun you. Come on, buddy. There you go. We got him now. Game over, buddy. <laughs> so greetings, Serem. How are you? <laughs> We got him. Hopefully Saul comes to his senses here. Are you alright, everyone? We're fine. His attacks have ceased, but... But that's the best we could do. Yeah, he's as tough as he ever was, that's for sure. <laughs> what could have happened to him? He's never behaved like this before. It's almost as if he's possessed. Saul. Of course, it begs the question, is that what's going on with Eldiel, too? What? Aw, oh, crap. What's happening now? <laughs> <laughs> Duran always seems to just read my mind. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I'm thinking of something and Duran just says it out loud. It's great. <laughs> Lisa, stay back. That's LaFonce. It's all right. There's no reason to be afraid. What? Huh? He looks familiar. Yeah, he should, Karna. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh no, stuff is happening. <laughs> right? Right now, they'll, they'll figure out it's LaFonce. Welcome, dear descendant. And welcome also to you, travelers of the Great Forest. I am LaFonce, the former king of Celceta and close friend of Eldeel's. 
Thank you for calming my distressed soul. It is truly a strange feeling to be able to meet with those who live hundreds of years after my own time. So no shit. Now that I didn't see coming. They freaking put LaFonce's soul into this, into Saul itself. Holy smokes. And there's Ghosty. <laughs> I know we started the stream chatting. I guess he's been lurking since. <laughs> I don't know if you've been in and out or here the whole time. But yeah, we, we started with uh, with a nice chat. Actually, Neutermass might be still around somewhere. Um, but thank you, everybody. As always, you know, I always appreciate anybody lurking or chatting to your heart's content. King LaFonce? How is this possible? My body was lost 800 years ago when the kingdom of Salsetta fell. However, my soul remained chained to this world, sealed away. And upon my release, I lost all control. Yep, been here, nut. <laughs> master, master lurker, ghosty. <laughs> I used to pride myself at being like the master lurker until I met ghosty. I'm like, man, now that that's some lurking skill right there. <laughs> and upon my release, I lost all control. Wow, this is amazing. Um, may I ask how you tr became trapped inside Saul? Hmm. As I wandered this world, aimless and alone, I was drawn to a certain strong will. I have summoned Ghosty out from the shadows. Yes. <laughs> I do multitask. I do too. I do too, bro. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's how it goes. <laughs> strong will? Yours. The will of my descendant and her stalwart wish to save my friend Eldil. <laughs> Well, she did come barreling in here all on her own just to find him. So I could definitely see what you mean. Honestly. Durin. Your ability to control the Sol Gaba I created may have also played a part. I found myself guided towards it and eventually wound up inhabiting it. However, I initially remained unable to control it, causing it to go berserk. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Okay, so it wasn't wasn't bounded to it. Okay, that, that, I mean, that makes sense too. Um, King LaFont's... Actually, something has happened to Eldiel, has it not? The fact that my soul was released can only mean one thing. The Black Winged One has manifested in this world again, just as he did 800 years ago. H how do you... It was none other than myself who sealed the Black Winged One away. And as such, the fact that I have been released means that he too has been released. What? There is more that I must share with you, but I need not do so here. We can speak as we go, though there is something else you must do before we leave this place. Is there not? <laughs> he was a much different person during those times. <laughs> oh, oh! I caught that pun, Ghosty. Rest assured, I, I caught that. I, I caught that. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, we need to find a way to repair the Mask of the Moon. 800 years ago, the Mask of the Moon's magic was depleted and its power lost. However, the magic stored in the altar here should be sufficient to replenish it. So you can fix it? I believe I can. Visitor to the forest, accepted by Eldiel. Your name is Adol, is it not? Place the Mask of the Moon upon the altar, Adol. This is not my area of expertise. But I will do what I can. Wow. Amazing. Ah, the mask. Is it repaired? I was successful. Please, take this with you, Adol. Alright, now we got the mask on the moon. So now we can get inside the Temple of the Sun. Thank you so much for your assistance. <laughs> Think nothing of it, but now you must hurry, as little time remains. If you wish to stop the Black Winged One, you must proceed to the Temple of the Sun at once. I will go on ahead. There is little I can do to help in battle, but I could at least serve as a guide. Oh. And off he goes. If he has sealed away the darkness from Eldiel's soul before, then we must trust that he will succeed once more. But how did he do it? I imagine we'll find out soon enough. Clearly he has a lot more to tell us, and no matter what the situation, we need to hurry back to the Temple of the Sun. Nina! 
You called? Can you go and scout out the area around El Duke? Okay. I'll be leaving with Saul. We'll meet again at the temple at all. <laughs> I should tell her not to get into trouble. But take care instead. Thank you. Safe journey to you all. Guess we're stuck going the long way again. Come on, everybody. I love the soundtracks. Oh, uh, no, we're, we're not going, yeah, we're not going through this whole thing again. Yeah, I must have missed stuff. Ugh, man, that is so lame. Uh, and I probably did miss it over here. But you know what, let's, just for the amusement of it, let's go to Highland real quick. Just to see if I can figure out where I missed some of this map completion. It's probably not this way, but we'll go in anyway. Is there another way out of Highland? There is not another way out of Highland. Maybe I missed something over here. I mean, I have to have missed something, right? I had to have. Let's avoid all of that. Goodbye to you guys. Oh, don't mind me. Just running through. I'm just looking to finish off the map. That would be really nice. I feel like I've missed something over here, probably. No, I found everything over here. Is there anything else over here? Is there another area up there? There isn't. I don't think I missed anything. You know, maybe, maybe I'll go back down the mountain. Maybe there's something out this way I missed. No, there, there really isn't. I didn't miss anything. All right. Maybe as we go to the Temple of the Sun, maybe well, there's still some stuff over there we can get. Oops, that's not what I want. Let's go warp. Uh, we've found the lab. Uh, do we want to go to the forest of... No, I don't want to go to the forest of spores. Found everything over there. This is Danan Village. I don't think there's anything else to do there. Alright, let's go to the Ruse Nest. Maybe now he can forge us ultimate weapons? This dude was over here. Where is this dude? Where's the dude? Yeah, there you are. Hey, buddy. You're still not going to refine anything better, are you? Uh, oh, we can do the silver ingot at least, but that's really expensive. Uh, let's talk. I didn't expect to bump into someone with similar interest to me in a place like this. Small world, huh? Uh, can you guys give me shit? That's better? Kazak since he was in Cell Ray for a while. I can't believe he managed to come this far into the forest just because he's interested in old ruins. He's bound to outlive us all with that kind of energy. Alright, well, I guess not. Oh, right, I'd have to do all that. Let's let's just see. Hey guys. What's that big f <laughs> makes me mad just looking at him. What's that? Oh jeez. Arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. He's like looking at the Grand Rue. Really does love to talk, don't you? But you know what? Let's like boring around here. Human. I guess they're not used to that. Pandas are black and white. They don't make for very good compasses. Let's go with the bear. Either way, he's really... <laughs> Jeez, you don't see humans that big very often. Actually, we don't see humans very often, period. You guys have anything new to say? Yeah, alright. Nothing new here, so let's... Let's head back out. These guys don't have anything new, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how to get the better stuff. It's kind of frustrating, actually. Frida? These are worse puns than the Boo Buddy names in Luigi's Mansion. They really are! They're the worst puns ever! Ever, right? They're they're terrible. <laughs> Frida. Nina, what's the situation at the temple? Now's the best chance we got. There's no one around. Those mass division soldiers all suddenly came to their senses. Then that Leo guy came and took them all away. Sounds like Bami's defeat did more than just free Remnos. And Leo actually made himself useful too. Didn't see that coming. 
<laughs> He's not exactly a model soldier, but it's obvious he means well and really wants to help wherever he can. <laughs> and to think, up until recently, we couldn't get rid of him fast enough. All right. Time's a-wasting, Adol. We're almost there. The Temple of the Sun. It's almost surreal that we're actually going in there. All right. So, give me two seconds here. Let me... Let's save. I need a soda. And before we head in there, let's, uh... All right, let's, uh... Oh, still playing in the background, huh? All right, so let's, uh... All right, that's fine. Uh, that's not what I was looking to do. Uh, give me two seconds. Let me grab myself another soda, and I will be right back. We'll just let that music play in the background. This is at least a safe area. I hope. <laughs> Unlike last time. Where I left, and all of a sudden it's like... A little unfortunate about the ultimate weapon. Um, I get the sense that the sunstones that we picked up a couple of times are uh, similar to the like. So, like in East, in later East games, when you get certain like ultimate material, the various uh, if you go to the right blacksmith, they'll tell you, "Ooh, you've got that! I can make such and such." But so far, every blacksmith I've talked to doesn't seem to react to the fact that I have sunstones. So I'm not sure what I'm missing there. But that's okay. We've at least upgraded the weapons we have. And they seem generally adequate. Let's see. Actually, party. We haven't shuffled this up lately. Let's... I do like keeping... Let's go with... Let's switch this up a little bit. We'll go with Adol, Kalilika, and Ozma here for a little while. All right, there's nothing else. Yep, let's head up. Oh, right, we don't have anything equipped. Let's at least equip the Gale Shoes. Yeah, we'll equip the Gale Shoes. Let's do this. Adol! Yep, there's Lisa. <laughs> I see that everyone is here. King LaFonce. The black-winged one is still inside the temple, by all appearances. Completing the ritual to activate the Akashic Records requires a significant amount of time. I assume he is presently focused on that. Come to think of it, whatever happened to Gruta? Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot say. We should remain on guard. He is not a foe to be underestimated. So, uh, we've been so focused on getting inside the temple, we really haven't had much time to think about this. But... How exactly are we supposed to stop Lord Eldiel anyway? <laughs> it's a good question. Oh dear, are you starting to get scared, Durin? Afraid we won't be able to finish what we started? <laughs> Durin's a scaredy cat! Durin's a scaredy cat! <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure that thought's crossed your mind too by now. I agree. It would be unwise to challenge him unprepared. As it stands, there is little chance of Eldiel returning to his former self. <laughs> what? There is no need to panic. The key to subduing him lies in the Mask of the Moon. Although its effects will be temporary, 
The Mask of the Moon has the ability to seal the Black Winged One's power. Eldil designed it with such function himself. So how does it work? You will have to force the mask onto him. It will be no easy task, but it's the only way. If successful, Eldil will be returned to his normal self, albeit only for a short time. During that time, we could retake the Mask of the Sun, and he won't be able to use the Akashic Records for nefarious ends. So we may be able to stop the records from being misused at the very least, and that's definitely our primary concern. Hello, cat. But when you say Lord Eldiel would only return to normal for a short period of time... Lisa, We must speak with Eldiel once he is cognizant again. Then perhaps we can find another way. You keep moving, cat. I can't keep... I can't pet you when you shift. I... I know. I love you. She keeps wandering under the table. Like she obviously wants a pet, but she can't sit still. Hello, kitty kitty. My feline co-host returning. <laughs> she's so cute. I know, you're so cute. I love you. Okay, she's going to sit down and lie down on my foot. Okay, so as long as I don't move, I'm good. For now, it's best you not overthink the situation. Concentrate only on what must be done. Yes. First things first, we have a door to open, right? We do. But the question is, who should do the honors? Uh I think we all know the answer to that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> no objections here? Indeed. Indeed. Nor here. <laughs> well, if Frida says so, I have no objections either. Adol. All this started when you came to Salsetta, Adol. Yes. This crisis would have occurred sooner or later, whether you had visited this land or not. <laughs> but if not for you, I don't think we'd have met one another like this. Nor would we be so close to resolving the matter now. Adol's definitely the glue that's held us all together during this journey. Adol. Yep. Adol, you're the man. If anyone's going to open up this ancient temple, it's got to be you. <laughs> you were the one that Lord, uh, Lord Eldiel chose to summon to this tower during these trying times, after all. It would seem you have been chosen by destiny to aid this land in its time of need, Adol Kristen. Therefore, I would ask that you don the mask now and stand before the temple door. Yep. It's time to st finish this game. It opened. What awaits us aside may be beyond all imagining. <laughs> it's finally happening. The time has come. Don't worry, Lisa. We'll bring Lord Eldiel home safely. I know you will. Let's go, Adol. All right. Open the door to the Temple of the Sun. Well, let's do this. I'm actually really curious to see what music they use for the Temple of the Sun. It's one of the better tracks from the original East 4 OST. It's so quiet in here. I would suspect no one is around. This area was once used as an audience chamber. The Black Winged One is in the room beyond here, where the Akashic Records are stored. We must hurry at all. Our time grows ever shorter. Oh, and there's no sound. I wonder if they were like, yeah, we can't outdo that track, so we're just not going to dry? Is that what's going on here? That'd be pretty funny. Alright, let's do this. Oh boy. It, yep, it should be, Rob. You again. Do you never tire of trying to interfere, red-haired swordsman? And as for you... Loathsome king of Celsetta, who has kept me sealed away after all these centuries. What brings you crawling back after all this time? Black-winged one, what a curious question you ask. Why else would I be here than to have you return the Mask of the Sun and the Akashic Records? The blueprints of the world. Yeah, it certainly looks like Endgame. Wait, that huge round thing is the Akashic Records? I was thinking it'd be a book. <laughs> <laughs> the Akashic Records contain laws that construct the world around us, as well as all that has been or will ever be, and the path that every being will take, man and god alike. 
such an unimaginable volume of information could not possibly be stored in a mere book. And yet, despite possessing something so powerful, the white winged one did little with it. Truly a fool. How dare you! Lord Eldil, he'll. Calm down, Lisa. I'm sorry, Adol, I, I just. So, what are you planning on doing with it? I'll use it to bring natural disasters upon the whole European continent, the likes of which the world has never seen before. Earthquakes, floods, firestorms, plagues. Disasters of such scale that they eradicate humanity from the land altogether. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can you really do something like that? I'm afraid so. The Mask of the Sun allows its wearer to alter the Akashic Records. If the wearer so desires, the records of our world and the people within it can be overwritten, at least partially. You gotta be kidding. Why would you wish to do such a thing? Humans are sinful creatures, yes, but we cannot accept that such a fate is inevitable, nor even deserved. Hm. You know why I'm doing it? Because it's an act befitting a god. Oh. You're trying to sell us, tell us that wiping out humanity is something a god's supposed to do? There's no way oh, that... Pathetic. I'm wasted enough time talking to you feeble creatures. At least act like humans in your final moments and kneel before me. Yeah, we're not dying on our knees, buddy. The mask. Yep, here we go. <laughs> ah, shit. The time for exposition is over. To mark this moment of becoming a true god, I shall bury you with my own hands. Hello, Cleo. Yep, get your pet now. Because <laughs> in a minute, I'm going to be a little distracted. Hello, kitty kitty. Yes, I know. I love you, too. I know. I love you, too. What's up, kitty kitty? Good girl. No, don't rub your face against that. <laughs> Consider yourselves fortunate to be permitted such an honor. Ugh. Seems we have no choice at all. You will have to seek an opening while fighting him. Be on your guard. 90% of JRPG, someone wants to destroy the world. And the other 10%, they want to destroy God. <laughs> uh, see you, Freak Vot. Have a good one, man. Burn them. Damn it. What are we doing here? Oh, well, she learned a new skill. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't dodge that. That sucked. Damn. Oh. Alright, Kalilika. She's decided to level up while fighting the boss of the game. I love the fact that she's like, oh, it's time to fight God. Guess what? Whoops. Yeah, I got wasted there. She's a cool character. Uh, let's heal me. Let's heal Kalilika a little bit. Death. Damn. Come on. Really? I didn't even get to really move there. Damn it. Mm. He's pretty mobile. Damn. Really thought I dodged that. Yeah, he's resistant to everything. That's not a surprise. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't turn that on. Uh, I hate when that turns on. Please turn off. Uh, can't turn it off. Damn. Very well. Behold. Well, shit. His second form. Oh, 
Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. You cannot defeat me. Holy shit, what's going on here? Oh, okay, I needed to just keep doing that. Yeah, we'll just keep fighting that. And I would kill to turn off that freaking lock on effect. Doing better with those. Nope, getting away from that. Let's go in here. Let's fuck him up. Yeah, a misunderstood god. Almost there, though. Uh. I don't know how Kalilika and Ozma survived that. Come on. There we go. I like those because they're super easy to dodge. Got you. It's over, dude. Wash. Wash. By a mere human. That's right. Defeated by a mere human. <laughs> yeah, we had to use some healing potions, but nothing too crazy there. One way of a feeling that's not the end of this bullshit, though. Did did we win? Very good. Well, what? Lisa, look! I see it. His hair and his wings. It appears we have our chance to speak with the true Eldiel. Ugh. Adol, quickly, hand me a Mask of the Moon. Adol gave the Mask of the Moon to Eldiel. But we still don't know where the other dude is. Now, I should be able to remain in this persona for a while. Oh, dear. When I created this mask, I had no idea it would be used white like this. Maybe I should have designed it to look a little more appealing. <laughs> My. How embarrassing. Yeah, right? I don't think this is the, the end, though, because Groot is still around. Groot is going to be the, the last boss here. <laughs> well, the ending was a little anti- Oh, Kalilika, you, you frickin' jinxed it. But I'm glad everything worked out. I am overjoyed to see that you all made it here safely. And I'm sorry for worrying you, Lisa and Kalilika. As for you, Adol, I have no doubt caused you no end of trouble. And it has been quite a while, my dear friend. 800 years, I believe. Thank you for sealing away the black-winged one all those centuries ago. Although I could never have imagined that you'd continue to keep it so sealed away for so long. That wasn't what we agreed on, but at this point, I'm just glad to see you safe. Everything is thanks to Adol and his friends. Still, it does not seem we have the luxury of time to be reminiscing about the past. You're correct, we don't. Um, King LaFonce, wouldn't it be possible for me to seal away the other Lord Eldiel the same way you did? If there's anything I could possibly do to help... Lisa. Lisa. I appreciate the sentiment, but it is not my wish to seal him away at the expense of someone else's life. I never hope to see that happen again. Long ago, I believed that he was a completely separate being who had manifested within me. However, as time passed, I came to realize that he is as much a part of me as the one you see before you now. What do you mean? I've long believed that keeping harmony in the world by carefully meeting out knowledge was my duty, and I did so as such. But at some point, I began to doubt whether giving knowledge to people in this manner was the right thing to do. Those thoughts constantly grew within me. 
eventually coming together and taking form. And that is the black winged one who stood before you earlier. That can't be true. On the surface, he may seem to be the embodiment of cruelty, simply existing to inflict destruction upon the world. But he believes that by overcoming the great ordeals placed before them, people can develop on their own. Looking back upon history, it is true that people become stronger through overcoming adversity. And as a result, people learn to think and walk for themselves, without the aid of gods. In a sense, the black winged one was born just as much out of love for humanity as I. I had no idea. So it seems even God is imperfect. How disappointing. There it is. There it is. Gruda! How is Lord Eldiel imperfect for showing concern? <laughs> you hadn't noticed? The black winged one didn't use the power of the Mask of the Sun in your battle at all. Now that you mention it, he didn't? <laughs> Such a careless error. But now I have the chance to see my true desires realized. I wish to see how humanity reacts when faced with cruel, cold despair. Greater even than the ordeals of a god. What are you saying? That's why I supported the Black Winged One and devised this new generation of Darklings who mourn this world. And yet this god here has proven quite useless to that end. Kruda, you. A perfect ordeal can only be executed by one who bears perfect malice. In other words, humanity itself. It is the duty of a god to challenge humanity, then truly, it is a duty most befitting a human. The Mask of the Sun! When did he acquire that? Because you guys were distracted by talking to Eldiel. <laughs> no, how? Yep, here we go. I mean, Eldiel was tricky, but I'm like, it was too easy. He's gone. Where did he go? I dare not even say, but I fear that's exactly what he did. He has entered Iris. Iris? The place where the contents of the Akashic Records are stored. They take the form of spiritual light and occupy another world where they can typically be neither seen nor touched. And that world of records is known by the name Iris. And that's where you suspect Gruta is gone. It's the only logical conclusion. The Mask of the Sun was originally made to allow its wearer to enter Iris and change the records stored within. I fear that Grota is going to bring about disaster in the real world by manipulating the world's records directly. Uh, he just keeps sinking lower and lower. He's even more brazen than the other Lord Eldiel. We cannot allow him to have his way. But what are we supposed to do? 800 years ago, the Black Winged One entered Iris much like Grota has now. I followed him and sealed him away. With time, however, the seal weakened and he managed to break free. I see, so that means we could follow him inside then? Indeed, I will secure a route using the Mask of the Moon. That should grant you access. Thanks. Glad to have someone like you on our side. I would join Adol and the others within the World of Records. I should be able to guide you through its depths at the very least. Thank you, King LaFonce. Lord Eldiel, I... I'm afraid Sol Gabla's mask may be too much for me to transfer inside. Could I ask you to remain here and support me? Yes, of course. We have to hurry at all. The Black Winged One is not sealed away forever. If sufficient time passes, he will begin to reemerge. All right, let's get going then. <laughs> Remarkable. There's not an ounce of hesitation on your face. You almost make me understand the Black Winged One's perspective. You represent the capability and ingenuity of humanity. I will open the gate to Iris. Thank you, my friend. Well, let's see how much else we've got. Is that it? This is the gate, yes. At all, best of luck to you in there. Be very careful. And Godspeed. Alright, so what I'll do is... Okay, hi, honey. What you doing? He hello, cat. What? What you want? Hello. <laughs> Granted, a little out of camera view, but she just hopped up on her back legs to tap me on the leg. Hello. What you looking for, kitty kitty? What you looking for? Hello, hello. What you want, cat? Hello, cat. I wish I wish I spoke cat so I could know what you want. <laughs> He's looking for pet? You looking for pet? Or do you want something? Hmm? You want something? Are you a good kitty kitty? Are you a good cat? 
Sorry, cat requires attention. <laughs> Hello. Hello, cat. My ultimate guard cat here. She kill she kills everything that comes inside my house, including all the scary, creepy Florida stuff. So I I tried to take it. <laughs> I tried Ow! Okay, you're okay, since you're nibbling at me, that tells me you actually want something. Give me two seconds. She may want more food, or no. You're just are you just being an asshole? I think she might just be being an asshole. Never mind. Okay. I think she's just an asshole. Well, let's save here. All right. Yeah, we'll talk to you. I'll maintain the gate to Iris here so you may enter and leave as you wish. Oh, okay. This isn't a one-way trip. Good. I thought it was a one-way trip. That's why I saved it in a different slot. Well, let's see what's going on here. Well, this will definitely be the last... Whoa, that's fucked up. We're in an Escher painting. Awesome. Well, this is certainly... Ominous. Iris, the world of records. Holy shit. So this is the world of the Akashic Records. I guess this Iris place is full of all kinds of information about our world, huh? That must mean your embarrassing future is recorded here too, <laughs> Hey, my future's gonna be awesome. You just wait. So all the knowledge Eldiel gives to people comes from these records? If so, that raises a question. If Lord Eldiel grants people knowledge, surely that means contradictions will arise between the records and reality, no? The records are not infallible. The world is merely guided by the events here. Unexpected events do occasionally occur. I have heard Eldiel suggests that he gives knowledge to people in order to compensate such abnormalities. And while his actions do create further contradictions, Eldiel corrects all of these himself using the Mask of the Sun. That is, as he sees it, his heavenly duty. So he corrects abnormalities in the fabric of existence? Isn't that a lot of work and a huge responsibility? This is the course of human history. You change one thing and it'll change another. How can one guy just deal with that? That is a completely accurate assessment, yet there's no other who can perform such work. He has never once complained. I have to admit, that sounds like him. But if the Mask of the Sun allows its wearer to correct the records... Yeah, we're in real trouble if we don't stop Gruda. On the highest level of Iris is the central area where the device used to manipulate the records is located. It is safe to assume that Gruda will be moving toward that location. How do we get there? I can't see any stairs or anything, and there's nothing above us. The highest level of Iris is a vast distance above us. Even with stairs, it would be a lengthy and exhausting climb. The owner of the Mask of the Sun can warp directly, but others must silence the three guardians in order to ascend to the highest level. Great, we gotta fight three bosses. Guardians? Ahead of us are three doors. God damn it. I probably should head out and then buy more healing items, actually. Each leads to a different area, bronze, silver, and gold. Within each area sits a guardian. When all three guardians have been defeated, the path to the center will open. Pretty tough security. Do we need to defeat the guardians in a specific order? No, any order will do. However, we must reach Gruta before he finishes analyzing how to operate the device in the central area. I feel like we've been saying this way too much, but I guess there's no time to waste then. Let's go, Adol. Alright, yeah, let's... Let's return to the Temple of the Sun. He's just keeping that open for me. Cool. Let's warp. Oh, 99.1. Fuck. So yeah, I am. I'm missing something. I'm missing 0.9% of the map somewhere. It looks, it really does look like a lot of it's there. I just can't figure out where or why. Grrr. Grrr. Oh, that's so... That is so lame. I am so close to 100% map completion, but I don't know why. I don't know why or how I'm missing part of it. I feel like I'm missing something there, but I've gotten everything there. I'm... I mean, there really isn't anything else there. There really isn't. Fuck. Oh, well. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go to the ruse nest. 
Ah, marker. Teleport to the ruse nest. Let's go shop. Well, you'll, you'll do. Yes, let's buy... How many do I... Wow, I only have one left. Okay, let's buy... Buy a shit ton of those. I have 11 of these. So let's buy... Yeah, that should be... That should be plenty. Now I've got 50 of those, 20 of those. We're good. Cool. Can I not see it? Oh, I can't warp directly to there? Shit. All right, so yeah, that did count as part of it. Fuck, man. What? What part of this map am I missing? Oh, you know what? That looks a little faded over there, doesn't it? That does look a little faded. Maybe I didn't get all of that? Let's... Just for the amusement of it. I know it's the end, but if I can get 100% map completion, that would really be amazing. And it was down that direction. So, let's go see if we can... Got all of that. Where was that map? Where was that faded part of the map? It's all the way out that way. So let's just keep going that way. Maybe over there? I don't think so, though. Maybe I have to keep going up. Looked like it was over here, though, didn't it? But it is... Now that I'm looking at it, that doesn't look very faded, does it? That does look complete. Yeah, this looks complete to me. Yeah, we got... We've completed this. Maybe that very top? But, I mean, we got it. Uh, really? We gotta do this again? Ow! 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 Stop biting! Stop biting me! <laughs> she clearly wants something. Ugh, party. Wish I knew what she wanted. Leave it to me! Leave everything to me! Come on! Open it! Why aren't you opening it? Why are you not opening this? Oh, what is going on? I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand why it's not doing that now. That's free disability to get past that, right? Am I, am I losing track of who's who here? That is free disability. This is free disability. You should be doing it. Come on, why are you not opening that? Oh. I don't understand why this isn't working. Now. Thank you. Oh, I guess those enemies had to be dealt with? That's annoying. <sighs> I feel like we got this in its entirety. There is nothing else over here. Yeah, this is still the same. <sighs> Although we are up here, not down there in that other faded part. So maybe it's another different... Maybe it's a different part. Maybe I didn't go far enough over here? Is that possible? I feel like we got all this. I mean, we're literally right here now, but... Well, what the hell? Let's... Let's keep going down. Maybe I didn't go all the way? 
I mean, we got everything here. Although, no, we did, because uh, that map percentage just went up a couple of points. Wow. Jeez, that's probably what we're missing. Little stupid shit like that. Oh, that is so frustrating. Great, so there's parts of this map like that. So yeah, there's probably something like that up here. Let's go to Highland and let's figure out what I didn't get. It's got to be something over here in the town. Understood. All right. We got everything here, so it must be in Highland Town itself, right? We got all this, but... You know what? Let's... We never did see Mishy again, did we? Yeah, same thing. We're in this area. I can't seem to figure out why that's faded. But we're at the very bottom of it. There's no other... There's no other way to go. There just isn't. Like, I'm not crazy. My OCD is just going to be berserk on this. Ugh. I'm just going to have to let it go, aren't I? I'm probably I'm just going to have to let this go. I mean, unless we go that way and maybe there's something that way. But I think when we check the map, if we keep going down, we're going to be... Yeah, that brings us all the way down here. There's nothing else that way at all. It would be this way. It drives me crazy. There's nothing in Cell Ray that would take us that way. Ugh. Oh well. Fuck it. I'm gonna have to let it go. Maybe once I beat the game and I go off stream, I can maybe find the remaining um, map portions. Come on. Thank you. I bet you you get a really nice item for completing the map, but oh well. Usually the map completion is not so annoying. That's a real bummer. That is a totally different soundtrack. Well, here we go. Let's depart for Iris. Let's do this. I don't know where my cat's going. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Shit, we got three freaking things to kill. Oh, well, who knows? Let's see. Yeah, no, this isn't gonna... Happen. All right, we got three. We have three bosses to do, and debating. I'm debating whether or not to try to. I didn't realize there was this much to do, so now I have to make the decision to finish the game, however long that takes. You know what? Let's just go up this way. Let's go up this way and let's just see how much how involved this is. How involved this is really going to be. Save that one. Because we are at we are at endgame, but I don't know if we've got three hours of content left. But this is actually now that I'm looking at it, gold area puzzle. Has to rotate the discs. Oh my god. The passages nearby will be altered in coordination with the discs positioning. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Okay, so there's... We're right here. Wow. Oh boy. That's going to suck a lot. Wait, so... Oh fuck. You... Okay. Fuck. Oh, lovely. 
So there are control panel. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, I see how this is gonna work. We're probably gonna have to come back here multiple times, switching out stuff. Oh no. Oh, oh no. All right, so this would allow us to get to the very center. Right? Yeah, that would allow us, that looks like it would allow us to get to the very center. Oh, jeez. No, it's not too strong for us. We got this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But we probably will need to end up going through a lot of this just to help. We got this. Purple stones. All right. Yeah, I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go back to that spot because this... This is not going to be a simple affair. Well, oh, shit. Okay. Well, I want to adjust that and then go straight to get that treasure chest. But you know what? Let's head out. We'll go back to that. We'll go back to this. Um, Sanctuary stone spot. Let's save. And I think let's just raid Freakbot because I'm getting hungry. And I... That's a lot more to go than I had anticipated. We might have hours left. <laughs> That's, that is super lame. All right, yeah, let's, let's, let's exit for right now and that's okay. That is all right. There was a lot more to this than I thought there was and that was kind of the day. Yeah, not bad of a stream session time. I mean, we're, we, we played for four hours, but I feel like there's at least one more, if not two hours left and I'm, I'm like, you just kind of make a judgment call of like, if you want to have dinner at any reasonable time, I'm like, mm, let's, let's call that a night now. Be besides, now that I know I still have a good chunk left, it could still be its own other stream and it's probably going to be long enough to handle all of that stuff. So it's, I, I think this is okay. But in any event, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Thank you for spending your Saturday during the, uh, Saturday with me. This was fun. We, we got really close. I actually thought it was going to be the end. Uh, it just didn't didn't work out that way. But in any event, let's let's figure out who we're gonna raid. It's probably gonna be Freakbot since he's on. Uh, let's let's get this let's get this party started. Uh, let's roll on. Let's see, is he on? He should be on. Yep, he is. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go raid Freakbot with Crow Country here playing Crow Country? I'm actually not familiar with what that is. We'll find out in a second. But in any event, uh, let's see. Yes, let's get this raid started. Raid! <laughs> uh, fear and loathing, but mostly fear. <laughs> nice. All right. So in any event, until next time, everybody, uh, I will probably be streaming tomorrow, and I'm, I might try to finish off East Memories of Celsetta tomorrow night. Or I might just wrap up the weekend with a little more Fallout 4. I think I'll wait and figure that out tomorrow and just kind of see how it goes. But in any event, I hope the rest of your weekend goes very, very well. Thank you for coming out again. And until next time, I will see you all later. Until next time, ciao. See you all later. Until next time, ciao.